Mum, I'm always in. Yeah. Right, fuck you, are. We. How are you all? Welcome to uh, the Sunday night show. We was all sitting here earlier. I'm thinking, oh, do you know what? I, I just don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I don't, I don't don't really know. I had to do the thumbnail for the show. And, um, you know, as luck would have it, you know, we've got some news through that um, Jared Bowen is now fucking injured. So Ugh. the thumbnail kind of wrote itself. We knew about Antonio already. But, uh, I mean, look, we've, we've been we've been a little bit lucky in the, in the past sort of 18 months with injuries anyway. But we'll go on to talk about this. As usual, John by John, joined by Mickey and Gary. Um, yeah. How are you all? John, you all right? <clears throat> yeah, mate. I've had a great weekend. Uh, Freddie played at the uh, St. George's National Park with the England team train, and we saw the under-20s, met a couple of players, uh, and he played against Burton Albion. Who'd you, who'd you meet? Well, who'd you, Burton who'd Albion. You no, who'd uh, you meet? What players? Uh, Lewis Hall. Oh, OK. You know the one who's just gone from Chelsea to Newcastle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm not, Freddie knows more about footballers than me. And a bloke called James Keeble, what's that? He's goalkeeper for Brighton and Hove Albion, but he's on loan ah. somewhere. He's only like a 19 year old kid, but um, it was good just seeing what they do and watching them train and that. And then, yeah, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Great, great, ex- well. great experience for him. Oh, mate, the place is unbelievable, as you'd expect. I mean, obviously, it's the England headquarters for the team. So, uh, you should yeah, bring him over place. to you should bring him over to my place and and, and see how we play. He might, he might learn something, you know, you, know, you never know. Watch, watch him right away. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him down to earth. He's getting like, too big. Nick, he's played for you before, Nick. I know he is. Nick, he played he for you before in a couple of friendlies, do you, remember, do you, years but you, ago. But do, you, do, you, do, you remember, do you remember that? Ben and Ben and Freddie, uh, centre-back, the pair of them. Yeah. Those like both, both, both centre-back. It was like, it's like, it was like two <laughs> Thomas Reptors together, wasn't it? Two Thomas <laughs> Reptors together. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mickey, how are you, mate? Yeah, Christy, mate. Had a very, very lazy day today. Don't have anything. Proper lazy. Um, yeah, proper lazy. In and out of sleep near enough all day. So it's my favourite type fresh. of day. Good, good, good. Gary, um, we know what you're gonna talk about. Go on, tell us. Tell us. Well, well, I just started my second shed. <laughs> <laughs> this is a grand a grand day shed shed plan, right? First yeah. one's sort of finished, as you saw earlier. Right now, I'm moving on to the other one, which is like a kitchen extension because we've got to move all the stuff from the other shed into that one, like fridges and freezers. Fucking hell! Fucking we... nearly done. I've nearly done it already. I'm yeah. fucking super. <laughs> I've got faster. I've got faster. I put the old roof up today by myself. By the time you've done, but then you, you're, you're, what you've learned in building sheds will become useless because you'll you'll have no more use of that knowledge. Exactly. Yeah, I'll just become DIY redundant. But, yeah. uh, I'm gonna, quite enjoying it. Are you going to start right? like doing? Are you... Are you going to start advertising it on Airbnb or something like that? Is that the plan? Is that a long-term plan? <laughs> no. Is... no, fuck off. I'm not letting anybody, anybody in my house. No, no. Well, it's got more fun than that, hasn't it? I don't I was want anybody coming that. in my ass. I was thinking of doing that to my caravan, though, my caravan, because we don't really use it anymore. And uh, I, I'm going to rent it out next year. And I was considering Airbnb, and I thought, oh, fuck that. You, you know, you got to do all that all that organisation right. and stuff. So I'm just going to let an agency take you'll, over it. You'll be, you'll be renting your caravan out and your season ticket right. if David Moyes stays, wouldn't you? I might be, yeah, because I'll still mm. buy it, obviously. Yeah. But, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well oh, just what's... do it privately, mate, to family and friends. No, you, you'd be no, surprised no, if you want to rent a caravan. No, honestly, I'm going to do it through this agency. A lot of people on the site use the agency. They're pretty good, you know, so... Uh, Takes all the uh, stress out of it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Rent it out for three years, make our money back pretty much. So that's all right. I mean, I mean, we can we can sort of start on a bit of a lighter note. Uh, I think we all heard uh, about the naughty boy, you know, um, Vladimir Sufal being uh, being photographed out in, a, out in a bar in a nightclub at 2 a.m. whilst away on international duty. Um, yeah, what are, your, what are your thoughts on that, John? Was you expecting that of a of a season oh, professional? Like no, no. Not it, no. look, I've never met the geezer, but I can't imagine it was something he would do. I, I just I wouldn't. Don't you think? Don't you think his eyes? Don't you, don't, don't you think his eyes give it away? <laughs> oh yeah, probably. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I know, I know, but he's not very but happy. When you, is he? not... his, when, you see, when, you, when you see all his no, Instagram no. posts, it's all to do with his family and kids. You don't see him as having a nightlife fetish do you, if you know what I mean so no 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 it's it, it's look I, I think it's I mean we don't know him but it does come across as a little bit out of character Mick doesn't it when, when you say from Sufo you wouldn't expect it would you no I wouldn't but there's um what John just said about him on Instagram with all his family and that so was Antonio before uh oh yeah you know what I mean? so he probably had yeah. a little word of get out there on the 195s and that bosh he's having it <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm nine five. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but he's not very happy. Apparently, he was followed around by a bloke, the guy, you know, so, someone within within the Czech squad has, has duped him in, and he's really pissed off with it. He's he's written a song. <laughs> Yeah, so he's, he's, he's not he's not very pleased with a guy. He's not very pleased with a guy. Um, what, what, about, what about yourself, Gary? Are you are you, uh, are you surprised? Are you surprised with it all? Uh, yeah, I am actually because he doesn't come across as that sort of party animal, does he? He comes across as a serious, industrious Czech footballer who takes everything yeah. in life seriously. You know, I think you know he's got those mad eyes, isn't he? I think he's probably his kids have got those mad eyes as well. Probably his dad's got the mad eyes. You know. Are you are you kind of um? Do you, do you think it could have been a celebration of his new ten year contract, two hundred grand a week at West Ham, and it was kind of champagnes on me, that sort of thing? Well, he wasn't. Was it in Prague? <laughs> was it in Prague where where he got caught? Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna burn through much of that money in Prague, is he? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, what is the contract he's getting? Is it just a year's extension or something? Please tell Mark, me. It's got to be in it. I would, I would hope so. It, it's know, got cause... to be to preserve the resale value because every player's got resale value. Regular Premier League footballer, don't matter how old he is, he's worth a few million. You don't no, want to no, let him yeah. go for nothing. I agree. I know, I know. Um, but look, what I've got, we'll start. Basically, what we're doing tonight, people, when I, there's no football. We've got nothing to review. We was going to go through and do a fucking boring pre-season, you know, the, the first part of the season, go through and review it, but I can't be asked. you know. Um, Where has it so, been for you so far? When you said yeah. that yesterday morning, you see my response. I said, is that just one of your bright ideas or are you actually going to do some prep for it? And here we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was going to... You could no, do you prep for it. You could do prep never doing for it. it. What never doing fucking it. prep do you use? Your show you, <laughs> your show you put out yesterday was my script you read out, you fucker. You didn't oh, even wow. fucking oh, do anything wow. more. Wow. I can't believe he's just gone there, Unscripted, guy. Nick. Unscripted. <laughs> and, um, no, but the, de the and, detail was... And fuck-ups included as well, because I was reading about Raul Sosia that all morning, I and I spoke about Raul Zaragoza. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Did I, did, I put Zaragoza, did I put Zaragoza in the thing? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I don't have, know. I sometimes have. I just do these things, right? I but it shows you... Fantastic video. I thought it was really it was an alright video, but I forgot to turn my lights on at the back. I tell, I tell, gray, I tell, I tell you what, I tell you, I tell you what was brilliant. I tell you what was brilliant about that video was the, the in depth what you went into about Moyes afterwards. I'll tell you though, that there was a couple of interesting bits there, weren't there? I mean, that, yeah, that yeah. one, that one about the language, that that really made me laugh because I was yeah, listening yeah. to him talk, and it's the bitterness in his voice where he said, I "Yeah, I went over to. I'm not going to do Scottish, right? I went over to Spain. Great experience. Wonderful club. Beautiful club. Right? Went over to Spain." And I couldn't, I couldn't grasp the language. I'm afraid to say I couldn't grasp yeah. the language. So now, all all Scottish people who want to who want to get accredited to be a fucking football coach, they've now got to give one team talk in a foreign language. Fucking hell. That's Thanks, his Dave. idea. He said, "I'm sure they don't, they don't, um, you know, they hate me so, for so, it." Or whatever so he else. he blames his failure in Spain with the fact that he he couldn't he couldn't. Um... Yeah. Talk, the, talk the lingo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't the fact that Real Sociedad had this system where all players have to come through the academy. <laughs> well, <we're> not... <laughs> so, so, like I say, we're not we're not take, we're, we're not taking calls. We've been sent yeah. in some WhatsApp questions, yeah. and John said there's a load of questions on the community post as well, isn't there, John? That we can flick through as well after yeah, as well. Yeah, there's quite a few in there, really. Yeah, quite a few. In there okay, mate. Um, <clears throat> well, well, what I'll do, I'll, I'll start with the first one. This is from Gatesy because this is on topic. Hey, you're Nick Gacy topic. from the West Ham Massive. Hope you're all well. So my question is, Jared Bowen's obviously pulled out of the England squad for the Euro qualifying against North Macedonia with a, a minor level knee injury. But this follows the injury that Mikhail Antonio picked up playing for Jamaica. So is this finally going to present an opportunity for Divine Mubama to get into the first team picture and possibly shine? And if that's the case, do you think that that might change Divine Mubama's mind and might get him to sign a contract? Or do you think that it's just basically another Jeremy Ngakia situation where he'll play for a couple of games, it'll become patently apparent he's not going to sign a contract, and then that will be a, him off fucking off out out the door and, and going to play for another club? What do you think? I'd say we'll go, Mickey, what do you reckon? What do you reckon on that one? What, if he's going to play, I, I, I think that if he if he got more game time, I do think that he would sign a contract. To be fair to you, with Barmer. I do. I think if he got the game time, he would. I just got no faith that 
Moyes will play him, even if there's no other options. I think that he'll does what he usually does, and that's try and slot another player there. That's what I think, anyway. Personally, I just I've, he's got no, there's no form to show that he will play Mubama. I'm sorry, that's just how I see it. I, th- I think the issue, I think the issue we've got is we had um, uh, we should we should have given him some minutes by now because we're looking at giving him a contract. So David Moyes should have been mandated by the board who are looking at offering him a contract to say, give him some minutes, let's see what he can do. Because then that would help you base whether or not it's worth paying him whatever it is. Because we don't know. I mean, we, we've, we've all got high hopes of Mabama, but you don't know until he's playing regularly and stuff like that. But the situation that they've yeah. probably got in now is that they're, they're falling out of favour. They've probably got to go in blind and maybe offer him a contract before they start giving him game time. Because mm. if, heaven forbid... He comes in and does well and starts banging goals in. What's his agent going to do, John? Well, he's going to look elsewhere and it's going to put his price up, put the value up. I'm a little bit in. I'm a little bit in a conundrum with this all, to be honest with you, though, because <clears throat> I agree with you. He should have been given more game time, and you would imagine that that was discussed in the summer. Look, come into the first team squad proper. You're going to get game time. Blah blah blah. It hasn't materialised for whatever reason, but we probably know the reason. Let's be honest. The problem I have with it now is, is that if we are um, led to believe that there is a new manager um, coming in in the summer, then that should be an easy sell for Tim and the board to say to Mabama, look, you know, I know it hasn't materialised yet, but there's a new guy coming in in the summer. Moyes will be gone. So yeah. now what I've got is, now what I've got is, though, I've got a little bit of a conundrum where I'm starting to think, is there a possibility that, because he's got a new agent, is that right? Yeah, he's got he's got a new agent. Yeah. So so then you start. Look, I'm not blaming. I'm not saying Moyes is blameless. Of course he is, and he hasn't given him any time. We want him to have time. Of course we do. But now I'm starting to think. Well, surely Tim could say, "Look, it's the new manager coming in. You ain't got to worry about Moyes. You'll get games. I'm new manager. If they can't sell that to him, is it is it now becoming about the money because he's got a new agent? He can go elsewhere and maybe get more. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just it, it could be now, but I just think we kind of this yeah. this is this is a typical example of missing the boat of opportunity though the window yeah, yeah, of opportunity yeah, that, saying, yeah. that you that you that you probably had. Um, and yeah, like I say, now we're in a situation where we probably are gonna f- heaven forbid. I mean, look, people are saying it's just a mi- it's just a minor injury. He's been left behind. We don't know that. You know, you don't know. You don't know what it is. Bowen doesn't doesn't get injured, does he? No, not no, really. I mean, no. what are your what are your what are your thoughts on this, Gary? In terms of Bowen, um, just say he is going to miss a couple of games. I mean, with Antonio as well, what sort of impact is that going to have on us? I mean, um, huge, huge, because he is pivotal in most of our goals. Right, he, he pro- really is. Is is is, is, he, is he our best player? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I think, he is our best I player. I mean, really. between him and Paqueta, but he's the most consistent, isn't he? And yeah. um. And he he does score a lot of goals, a lot of goals, and yeah. uh, he bailed us out on the the other day as well against Forest, didn't he? Uh, when he was playing up front and 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 really shouldn't have been, because he's about as effective as Danny Ings up front because he's a slight he's a slight character who when you're playing against a team like that who are going to get big centre ass behind the ball, he's got no chance, is he? You're just wasting him, you're watering yeah. him down. And it- so yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I um yeah, I I, I don't. How can I say? I don't. I don't see Mabama. I'd be delighted if Mabama got a chance, but I don't. Um, I don't see it. I think it will be Ings first. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I think so as well. I'm not saying he won't get any minutes. He probably will get some some time at the end of the game. But mm. from what I've seen of Mabama, he seems like the type of player that probably needs to grow into the team. He, I, I, mm. I, I don't know. He could turn out to be phenomenal, but not every youth player is going to be a Wayne Rooney. Come on with 10 minutes to go and bang one in from 25 yards. No, no but he's supposed know? to be a nice, especially in our setup, mm. but he's supposed to be a nice kid who trains yeah. really hard, takes his football seriously, yeah. lives a good lifestyle, you know, doesn't go out partying and stuff like that. You know, he, he's, um, he's a good example to, to other, to other kids. And I think we've got a lot like that as well. Um, he deserves a chance and I don't care. It's our fault that we've let this contract situation get to where it is, not his. He should have been tied up on a deal last season, not this season. Yeah. You know, with a promise of what was going to happen this season. When you get yeah. to this season and you're given, given a promise in the summer and that promise ain't working out, then you're looking like a bit of a liar, aren't you? And he's, he's yeah. a bit suspicious. The agent, the new agent coming into it, yeah, he's going to be money motivated. He wants a deal. Of course he does. But um, he'll also get money if he signs a new contract with West Ham. Don't forget that. Yeah, 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 of yeah, course, no, no, but, but, no. but it, but it, but it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not dismissing what Moyes has done because it's ridiculous not giving him any minutes, and I agree with you. But the contract has always been an issue at West Ham. That the, yeah. the lack of foresight 
you know, with or without Moyes, always seems to be a problem, and it's infuriating. And, you know, we can argue till the cows come home that, and I agree to some extent that some of these young ones that have moved on, like Harrison Ashby, Sonny Perkins, who's at Oxford now, someone said in the chat, Sonny Perkins is at Oxford on loan from Leeds. Ashby's gone to Newcastle. He's now on loan yeah. at Swansea. Yeah, but, yeah, but, that, but, but, yeah, yeah, but John, you no, know that, 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 but that doesn't mean they're not going to make it later on, though, does no. it? No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to say to you. Yeah. You, you, people will say, what are they doing there? And they're right to some extent. But also in the same breath, how do we know how they would have performed if we kept them in and around the squad, it, training exactly. with the first team squad daily? You don't know how they would excel because it's, iron sharpens iron. If you play yeah. with better players, and, you get better. And, 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 and also, John, I reckon there's probably a lot of players out there that, that would benefit more and probably progress more playing in an environment that they're used to, that they've been brought up in. They might excel that exactly. bit more. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. When you get yeah. when you get pulled out of that, ripped out of it, and sent somewhere else, yeah. then you've got to be yeah. you've got to be special, haven't you, to kind of make it. This is yeah, interesting. From, I'm not aware of this. Sorry, Gal, but I just saw this come up. Bill Clark says the club has a wage cap for the academy players, but but when they, he, but, he would be a first team player. Though. This is what yeah, that's what I'm now. saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A first team player. Yeah. 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 Um, but I get but what you with, say when they're in the academy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but with 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 regards to Antonio, and this is a massive problem because it, look, as we all know, everyone has got an issue with the fact that we rely on Antonio up front because he isn't great. We 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 know that. But also, what we've seen in the games where Bowen has played down the middle, and when, when we've seen Ings, you've seen the impact that it that it has. You have to yeah. have a focal point up front. You've got to. Yeah. That is what Antonio provides you with. When you play Antonio up front, even if he's having a shit game, he's occupying defenders, and then people like Bowen and Caduce, they can thrive a little bit because they're yeah. taking some of the pressure off. That, you'd agree with that, John, wouldn't you? With as far as Antonio is concerned, you do need oh, that well, striker. You, you know the the, the 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 role that Antonio plays. There's not many strikers around who can do it, and they're no. not going to generally they're not going to generally be prolific goal scorers because they're battering rams. They're literally yeah. being used. You know, to do all the donkey work, if you like, yeah. for want of a better phrase, mm. and the people around them, i.e., Bowen and Kudos, should be picking up the pieces and thriving off them. You know what I mean? Um, and there's not many strikers like that about. You know what? You know the the link at the minute that's really getting me is the big link we've got with this um, Solanke at Bournemouth. I mean, I, I don't get that. Pe people seem to be really happy with that. Not, I'm, I'm not for me. Not, not for me. Either, yeah. no, no, not no, for no, me. But that's perfect. He's, he's. I can understand the the link because he's a perfect. Moyes striker. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, Mick, but, but this is the whole argument. Sorry to interrupt. No, why, are we still, why are we still buying people for the Moyes project if Moyes is going in the summer? We're, we're not. I don't believe that. I don't, I, don't, I don't believe that we we're are. Not. I think, I we're, think we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna get loads of lazy links to, yeah, to Bro, players. Broja, for instance. We're yeah, still yeah, being linked to Broja. Linked to like a million times, and it'd be a million times again before. Yeah, like, yeah. Is, but so. but this but this this does kind of highlight for me. And I, look, we've we've said it all along, but you know, it took David Moyes eighteen months to find Heller's replacement in Skimaka. And then he's, he's just seen fit to sell him, and not he's not bothered at all. Now you can you can say I've, I've, I've heard people come out and blame Tim Steinton for failing when he went to Brazil to get that striker. You know he he he, he done he done well enough, didn't he? But at the end of the day, David Moyes came out and publicly said, you know, we've got Jared Bowen. We know he doesn't he doesn't overly want the striker. He didn't want he well, didn't even want he, Ings. That, he didn't that, want Dave, a striker. Dave, David oh. Sullivan. David Sullivan was panicking when we was in a relegation battle in January. Moyes was refusing to get a striker, so Sullivan went out and fucking got one. And went, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. We, we need goals. We need yeah. goals. Moyes' this, plan this year was to do pure Moyes ball to embarrass everybody and show us, show them how brilliant he is, and that involves Antonio yeah. up front. And he's own um that's why he gave Mabama apparently a promise of game time um and then he told Stite and and um and Sullivan that I don't need a striker because I've got Antonio I can use Bowen I've also got Mabama I'm going to use as a striker well you know that was it, it's a ridiculous short-sightedness that he's got uh but he doesn't like strikers he doesn't like strikers. He doesn't, he, he, you know, strikers are just there to occupy defenders. Um, really, <clears throat> they don't play, they don't play to accommodate a striker. They don't play to a striker's strengths. Antonio, when he, when he creates a goal, it's Antonio creating a goal and nothing, right? Mm. It ain't the result of a beautiful bit of play that's found the striker. Oh, no, Darren no, Clark, no, no. Uh, I agree. Which, sorry to interrupt again, but Darren Clarkson's got an interesting point. How true it is, I don't know. Uh, the club stopped Bowen from going or joining up with the England team. I think wouldn't, he means going happen. out to North Macedonia. Once they heard the Antonio news, Bowen will play up front. Takes Antonio. John, 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 what do you what do you reckon of that? Yeah, it could be Bowen? right, Darren. 
I yeah, can't, but Bowen, I can't Bowen, see Bowen, wouldn't have, Bowen wouldn't have had that. He's, he, he wants to yeah. play for England. He would not have. And he once, would not have tolerated that. Yeah, and, and how can West Ham contact them and say he's injured when he's training with England? How would West Ham know? Yeah, yeah that's that's that's, a, that's, sure. that's wishful I'd thinking. I'd like that's, that to be true. I'd like that to be true, but I don't. I mean, it's it's wishful thinking. It's what we would have wanted to have done, but you've got no power over the the, the club and, and, and country to do that. But I'm going to ask. I'll ask John. John I'll ask you a question. Yeah. If because we don't know, so we know this is this is say say Bowen's out for a few games. If it materialises that um, Ings and Mabama are not sufficient at all, and yeah. we go on a we 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 go on a, a continued fucking bad run now throughout December, and it highlights yeah. the fact that we needed a striker. Is there any other word than negligence for the fact that we have overlooked this position for David Moyes at this point? Uh, no, of course not. Um, There's not, is there? No, there isn't. And, uh, but the, negl- the negligence is twofold because obviously I'll keep going back to it, but Sullivan's his boss. And at yeah. the end of the day, no matter your role as a manager, the bloke who owns the club or is custodian of the club should be being a bit more forceful. I, I don't get it. I, I, still, I still don't get the whole relationship. I think personally for a while now, not just recently, you know, for a while now, there's almost like a standoff between the two. Yeah. There's, obviously, there's obviously some sort of respect there, but there's also a lot of disrespect there because I, I just think it's a... There's a massive power struggle. Um, I also think that, you know, we've got to be careful. I don't want to go out in January and buy a Moyes-type striker because it'll be an absolute waste of money if he goes in the summer and the new progressive manager comes in. Yeah. That striker will be null and void. So what's the point? Unless it's, going it's, be, it's, going to, it's going to have to be a loan. I mean, we're, we're linked heavily yeah. with Timo Werner. I think that could happen. And look, a lot of people are turning their nose up. Um, Timo Werner is, is going to be exactly what we want coming into AFCON because he's a player that is full of pace. We know he ain't the most clinical but he can mm. play centrally. He can yeah. also play on either side. He gives you loads of pace and he is direct. And I think he would suit a counter-attacking game. Uh, so as a, as a loan deal, you know, he could, he could, look, I'm, he could be, no, don't, don't, but no, but he's listen, don't, don't forget, Lingard was nothing. No one wanted to yeah. touch him when we, when we mm. took him in. So mm. it could be the type of player that we bring in and he, he could, he could, you know, he, he needs, he, maybe he needs a new platform. You don't know. It's, it's worth a go, surely. I'll take him. I'll take him, definitely. Of a pace, you know. It, lightning pace. Yeah. I, I'll tell and, you and our strikers don't score goals anyway. So he, he won't feel under pressure to score goals. I, I, I have I have got another theory before we go to the next question. Uh, and this, no. this is this is what I this is what I would do if I was Moyes. And I and I think I have to get um Suchek in this team. I'd play him as a centre forward. Because all he's in that team for yeah. is a box yeah. crasher. Suchek. All, 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 all Suchek is in that team for is, is for nothing else other than scoring goals and being a box threat. So why not put Suchek in the middle to win the ball, hold it up, try and link play, have uh, Bowen out on, on the right-hand side when he's fit, have uh, Caduce behind him, Paqueta up there, surround him with fucking tricky players, and he can be the four. Why not try that and then have a good solid midfield? If he has to be in a team, uh, stick him where he where he only touches the fucking ball anyway up front. Yeah, but, yeah, but he's got he's got a terrible. He's, he he couldn't control a bag of cement. Nick. Yeah, but neither so, can Anto- neither can Antonio yeah, though. But, he's, but Sushek's far worse, mate. He he. he oh, I, I know. know. I, I get know, what you're I trying know. to say, but I'm not sure. But yeah. But no, no, no. I wouldn't put him there. But if if he's if I what I said was if I was Moyes and I have to get this guy in a team, I would well, possibly I, 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 the, I would um, possibly try that. I, you know. Yeah. Why, why yeah not? I, I sort of alluded to it last week, and I think you mocked me. What? <laughs> Playing Suchek up it front. It? No, but John's right. Yeah, but no, no, but John's right. Idea, yeah, but jo- no, but John, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. But I agree. Idea, I agree with John. It's <laughs> it's a stu- it's a stupid idea. But yeah. but David Moyes has to get him in the team. So yeah. why not play him in the area where he's... Look, we know that he's a good goal scorer. He, 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 he's got mm. an eye for goal, you know? Caduce can play up front. Cornet can play up front. C- there's, can't, there's Caduce options. Can't, Gary, Caduce can't play up front. No, 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 no. I think when I, when I was watching that game last week against Forrest, you know, uh, Bowen was getting pushed around all afternoon by the giant yeah. um, centre-half. Well, towards the end of the game, uh, that same giant centre-half tried to push... Um, Caduce off the ball like he'd done Bowen all game yeah. and uh, he won't go anywhere. So I think he's got a lot more about him in terms of, you know, it's not just a low centre of gravity. The guy's strong, really fucking strong as an ox. So unless you're saying he's got to be a tall bloke as a striker. No, 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 Gary, like he ain't no stronger than Bowen and like Bowen playing him He is stronger than Bowen. No, yeah, but Gary, he ain't going to be any good with his backs to big defenders. He'll be nothing. I ain't seen it. He'll do nothing. I ain't seen it. He's not a striker in our system. 
Uh, li- no listen, way. we're no playing way. against uh, Burnley next, who are not going to be sitting back defending with eleven men behind the ball. Yeah. Well, oh, maybe that might be that might be a chance for Cornet to come on and score against his old club. Good call, good call. Yeah, yeah, or, Dan, yeah. or, or Danny Ings. I like it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Danny Ings. Suchek up front. I'm, I'm not. I'm not on board with that. I understand yeah. your argument for it, but I'm not on board for Suchek. I'd, I'd yeah. rather him be out yeah, the I'm team. Not. I'd rather him be out yeah, the team. So I just, I. I just yeah. want him out the middle of the fucking park. I do. I'd rather him be making potato salad in the canteen to be fair to you. Yeah, yeah, take a holiday. Take a holiday. Go back. Go back. And check. Yeah, but but, but, but Greeno says Caduce can play up front. He did it for Ajax, I believe. You're talking he did. about. A t- he did. Yeah, but you're talking about a team that attack on mass with loads of bodies forwards in and around yes. him. Not the way that we play. No, you're right. You're right, and it might not work, but it might. Yeah. You never know. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's it, they're, you, they're all you've different got, players you, you, with you, different you, attributes, you've got, right? You've got you've got to bear in mind the amount of players, the different types of players we've had to do this Antonio role, and it ain't worked with any of them. What, what I got a bit frustrated with last week with uh, with uh, Bowen in the first half, and he corrected it in the second half. In the first half, he was yep. pretty much not making life very hard for those defenders because what he's got in his armory is pace. Yep. movement and he should use that when he's playing in a bunks two fucking great big enormous immobile defenders he didn't yep. in the first half they just sat on him and he didn't move anywhere second half he came out the movement was there and he did a lot better and i don't Ooh. think you're going to get could do bowen i don't think you're going to get caduce yeah, but... don't, don't you remember yeah no i do but I, I i just think it's a big assumption that we can think that a right winger or left winger whatever bowen is it's a big assumption to assume. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, I mean, G- G- Gary, it, there is a massive difference in those positions. Yeah, of course, there is. Of course, there is. But especially when you're playing against a team who defend like that, I agree. I agree. Yeah, but yeah. you've got to try and play to your strengths, and his strengths is movement and pace. And he wasn't taking advantage of that movement and pace in the first half. He was letting the defenders bully him. They were all over him. He, it did nothing. Second half, he came out. He was trying to get wide. He was pulling them all over the place. It still wasn't great, but it was better. And I don't think you're going to get Caduce standing there with the defenders on his shoulders. Yeah, but to eradicate all of this, the situation, yeah. he should just give Mavama a run out. Because if you don't give him a run out... Of course he should. That's the crux of it all. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Because, 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 because Mavama would be a focal point. He would be. He's he, got he, to he, try he, it. He, he, yeah. gonna, listen, sorry to interrupt again. If you're not totally going to try agree. it, you're not going to try it against if you're going to try it against anyone in the Premier League, with all due respect to Burnley, it's Burnley because yeah. the way they play, they pass it around at the back, they, they're very you know, they take risks at the back. You know, company company has no fear in trying to play the way he played in the championship, he's not going to change it up, he's playing his way in that way, and yeah. that's it. And 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 Muama, that's it. <laughs> You've got to give Mabamba a go. You know, you've got to play. Sit and go up front. Mabamba. 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 But, li- but, listen, but listen, and I know John will probably roll his eyes at this one, but I, I fully believe this, right? I think we saw it with Flynn Downs. I don't think that David Moyes fancies Mabama, and I don't think that he would want Mabama to come in hit the ground running and bang a couple of goals in because then he would know that that would only apply more pressure on him to force him into that team. Gary, am I wide of the mark there or do you anticipate a similar sort of narcissism from that man? I don't think it's a case that he doesn't rate the player. I think listening to him talk about the way he was brought up as a, you know, what I said in that video, the way he was brought up in his apprenticeship because he started his coaching badges at like 22, 23, Moyes. Because he, he must have realised I'm a bit of a shit footballer. I need to be a coach if I'm going to yeah. make a living out of this. Um, and so <laughs> he, he went to all these summer camps and did all this and did all that. And the only one who he's given game time to really from the youth the youth team, I mean proper game time, not a fucking meaningless debut against Croatia Zagreb, is Ben Johnson. And Ben Johnson, um, whether he sees him, because, he, Jack, uh, you Jack know, of, the, Jack of all trades. the crux of what he was saying was he learned about all the different positions, learned to play in all different positions, and that's what Ben Johnson is or was until he ruined him, right? Mabama, I don't know whether he sees him as just, um, you know, he's taking the easy track, just just being a striker and scoring a load of goals and working hard and living his life properly and training hard and stuff like that, or whether um, every single player that comes through needs to have some essence of David Moyes in their history, yeah. uh, in their story, to uh, to actually be rated by him. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I just don't think he'll play him. He's got no faith in kids whatsoever. Yeah. Someone said earlier about he's given 10 kids his debut. Well, 
I think seven of those was against Zagreb. Oh no, no, Never no, to no, be no. seen again. He's a, right? he's, he's, a, he's a tick box merchant. So what yeah. he does is he'll bring in kids for dead rubber games, give them five they, ten minutes. I've given him his well. day. You never, yeah, but you never see they, him again. No, because no, but, then, but in then, that then game, he'll, then he'll play the next one. In that next... game, do you remember? In that game, Longello and all that, we're all raving about. He did so well, right? A, a yeah. lot of those players did so well. We never fucking saw yeah, him again. Yeah, but this, but this is what I'm saying to you. So he doesn't want them to kick on. So he, we no. would we would have benefited more from him picking one youth player and playing that one youth player ten times. That's the way good people yeah. do it. Yeah. Is they integrate one youth player slowly into yeah. the first team, and then when they get up to speed. You know, they they become a first team player, maybe a, maybe a squad player. But over that's what annoys me. And Gotta that's do what it. Me. Sorry, Gav, but that's what annoys me because my take on it is there's no guarantee that Obama's going to come in and light it up. There's no guarantee yeah, that. Of course but not. When no. you see when you see the other players like Ings and that that are not doing it, then he, that's when <sighs> he deserves his chance. He's overdue his chance, Obama. And then let's see, let's see. Uh, he can't do no worse than Ings, surely. None of our strikers are scoring goals, Mickey. None of our strikers are scoring goals. I've got to address goals. this one minute. Finger, right? He's, we're comparing <laughs> Moyes. We're comparing Moyes to Wenger now. Finger, um, uh, no, but you, have you seen what you understand that name? Right, Finger, Finger, but, oh, we're, yeah, but we're, but yeah. we're, but we're comparing Moyes to Wenger now. It's unbelievable. Now, look, I, I am sorry if you love Moyes. He's got, he's going. So you just got to trophy get over in forty three years. Yeah. Though. Yeah, I know, I know. So I think it's a look. bit fishy around here. Right, a bit fishy let, let me yeah. let's 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 bring the tone Whoa. up anyway. But is yeah. is a, is is a, is a bit of an interesting one. Here we go. We interesting, bit fun, fun from the Kevmeister. Never heard of him. Hi, Nick and Mickey. Uh, simple question for you. It's a silly season, so here's a silly question. If we had to rename the Betway Stand, Hello? who would you name it after? based on these four choices. <laughs> Paul Entz, Frank Lampard, Dimitri Pyatt, or Sir Samuel Allardyce. <laughs> that is a oh, no, I just like, Easy love that for me. Sam Allardyce stand. Go on, who would you go for? Go on, Mick. Easy for me, Pyatt. I've got no problem with Pyatt whatsoever. So, yeah. yeah. Quiet all day long. I, I, I would literally, just to piss Nigel off, I would go for the Sam Allardyce stand. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Gal? We'd all chip in and get him a season ticket in that stand. <laughs> it, it, it's a tough one, isn't it? But um, really, the only one that would be acceptable there for me is, um, is Pyatt. Yes. Yeah. Hold on a minute, though. He didn't say Frank yeah, Lampard Jr., did he? Yeah. Ooh, exactly. No. It could be oh. Frank Lampard Senior. You know what you meant. Then, we know what you meant. Yeah, we know what you yeah, meant. Yeah. yeah. You what could about, have added Defoe to that little list as well, Kevin. I know. I know. Uh, John, what would you what about you? Would you go Pyatt out of that list? <laughs> the Pyatt and Match <laughs> All day long, mate. Can only be the one for me. I, you know, I'll never I'll never forgive uh, I'll never forgive Paul Lintz. You know, I, I don't actually hate Sam Allardyce, but um yeah, I mean no. Pyatt Pyatt made a mistake on a personal level, so you know. Yeah, no, I know. Right, um, a quick message. This is this has come from Gar Gary in Wantford. So he's he's got a mate, Kevin Kevin Troughton. Um, this is a chap who is had a really really tough year. He lost his brother uh, last year, uh, and he's just said, "Can we give the guy a shout out?" He went out. To, he's a West Ham fan. He's a he's a Claret and Boozer. Watches watches of all you guys and girls as well. He's just gone out to Paris this weekend, competing in the Karate European Championships, and he won the lot. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Kevin. Thank you now, European well, champion. Fine. Yeah. Well, well done, done Kevin. Kevin. Congratulations. Yep, that's, so. ama that's amazing. I used to know a guy who was karate, was it? Oh no, I used to know a European judo champion. That's what no, I used to know. No, yeah. can, no can do, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oregon, black belt in Oregon, me. Um, you better get around with Nigel too much. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Alec Bassendale was sent in a question. So uh, this is quite a good talking point. So uh, he says, "Evening, lads." International breaks are just a ball ache. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go down to the question. Sorry, Alex. They are, aren't they? Um, yeah. Right. Now he says, um, Everton. now that Everton have been punished for breaching FFP, do you think that they've had a points deduction? Or do you think now they have, they have had a points deduction, uh, the emphasis will be to punish teams like City and Chelsea? If they, if they do escape punishment, these teams, then it clearly shows that there is a level of bias corruption towards certain teams. Um, mm. John, what do you reckon? Um, I think the reason Everton have been charged so quickly in comparison to City and Chelsea is because they had, well, they had far less charges. I mean, City have got yeah. over 100, 
you know, and they're historical. A lot of Chelsea's are formed when Abramovich first came in. So they are they are charges that date back 15 years, you know, more, some of them. Yeah. Everton's is the here and now, and 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 Everton have been brought into line because of you know they falsified accounts, you know. So, you know, that's that's you know, that that's in black and white, and the charges happen. I think now. For me, they've set a precedent. Giving Everton a ten-point deduction. What do, you do, what do you do with the other? What do you do with the others if they're well, found guilty? Well, I, I don't think I don't think they'll relegate them because oh. I just think that they'll be too fearful of doing so. However, you know, we remember what happened to Glasgow Rangers. We remember yes. what happened. To, we remember what happened to Juventus in recent years. And if and and if their charges, you know, if they're found guilty of those charges, then yes, they should be relegated. I don't agree with taking titles off them and things like that. I think that's a nonsense, personally speaking. But obviously, we support a club that wouldn't be giving it, you know, if it was taken away from. Them. Maybe Liverpool fans, for example, would feel differently. But I just think, for me, they have to be hit with points deduction and a massive one. A financial a financial fine will mean fuck all. They've got endless pits of money. You know, if they're going to get fined 100 million, they'll accept it and they'll do the are, same. Are you, are you surprised that they've hit them this season, though? Um, should it? Well, Everton. Yeah, so, so I think it, that's what they do, Nick. I think they do it straight away whenever they're found guilty. They can. Yeah, if they can, yeah. I think they do it straight away. But I mean, look, as you said earlier when we were talking about it on the WhatsApp group, it's not a bad time to have 10 points deducted when God, you've no. got three teams that are really poor. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, if, if Everton win their next game, they're out of the relegation zone already. So, you know, they've had a little bit of a good run, as we know, because they beat up at home. But look, the implications for City and, and, and Chelsea could be huge. And you know, I know that guy who works in football television rights and all that. And, you know, since the Everton uh, point deductions come on, City and Chelsea are really panicking. They're really worried. And apparently yeah. they're mobilising their solicitors more than ever. They should, they should be. They should be well, as well. They're, they're, they're concerned. But personally, because of the Premier League, because of the worldwide global attraction, I can't see them kicking two of the biggest teams in the Premier League history out of it. Because there'll be one a lot. Hmm. I, think I think that's true, but there, there, there can't be two sets of rules, right? There's one set no. of rules. And um, I don't care their commercial value or how fucking important they are to the big grand scheme of things, a TV deal and everything else. Fuck all that. Same with Chelsea. Who cares? Mm. You know, fuck, they, they've got to be punished. They've got no, to be no, punished. And there is, there is more. I swear there's more to find with City as well. When you look at... Um, the sponsorship deal for you know it's very dodgy. Same happens at Newcastle. The sponsorship yeah. deal of the training ground is like a hundred million a year from the cousin of the owner. Yeah, yeah. right. That, that's 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 bullshit, right? You you know that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, abs- absolutely. Yeah. Um, what do you, what do you reckon, Mick? Do you reckon they'll come down heavy on Chelsea and uh, Chelsea and City, or do you reckon they'll escape with a, a slap on the wrist? I agree with what Gary just said about there can't be one rule for one and not the other. But we've seen like. The lower teams in the league, they've been shafted hard, like some yeah, of them. Big yeah. time. Oh, so, yeah, massively. So then because they are such a big pull, like Man City and Chelsea, such a big name for the Premier League. They they wouldn't want them out of the top flight, would they? Of course they wouldn't. And even even if they was get points deducted and that, I don't think it would come at a time during the season like it has Everton. And that there, there'll be ways around it that it'll suit not say suit them because anything, but it'll it just it work out better for them than it would. Yeah, but Mickey, clubs. Mickey, you're talking about a whole different scale here. You're talking about 160 11, plus breaches yeah, yeah. of the 111, is it? 100 of, 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 financial, of financial fair play. You ever, and I think you're talking one offense, yeah. right? No, I get that, but it's like what someone just said in the chat. Everton, they went guilty. Like they, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. And like they still got punished. Like they yeah, put their hands up and they still got punished. Right. But then City and that are saying no, and they've got their lawyers, like their massive lawyers, going at it. So I do think, cynical or not, I do think there'd be deals under the table that we won't see. I, yeah. I really oh, of believe. course. Oh, well, you don't take years no, as well. Like, I, I, honestly, well, there will be. There will well, be. Well, there will the, be. The, the, the thing is, you can. <laughs> It's, it's the deals under the table that have got them into this situation. So I don't think there can be any more deals under the table to get them out of it. But the implication, the thing is, if you give them, like someone in the chat, Fingerer, he's, he's made a great point. Points deductions are only punishing the fans. They are. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they yeah. are. But then but then a financial, a financial um, fine 
is not going to hit the pockets of the so-called big clubs, City, Chelsea, no. Newcastle, if they got roped into it in the future, which they won because they're playing it quite well. But, but I don't know what you do. You either go in hard or not at all. But now they've set a precedent, giving Everton a 10-point deduction. You know, City and that are looking at, what, 30-plus points, but they won't get it. They, yeah. They'll get away with it somewhere. Do you have a like European ban and all that stuff, like banning competitions and transfer markets? I, I don't know. I ain't got the answer. Right, really they they should be. They should be banned from pretty much everything, right? I mean, it, I, I agree with what John said about, about Rangers, or was it you, Mickey? I don't know about... No, but look, oh, Rangers, John. Yeah. But, but they were... You know, they were treated really harsh. They dropped down two divisions, didn't they, Rangers? And yeah, that's yeah, to yeah. regroup and come again. And actually, the club that is Rangers now is now a different company, right? Yeah. Totally yeah. different. So yeah. it took them, what did it take them? About seven or eight years to re-get their, um, to regain their, their profile. Um, yeah. That's not going to happen with City because they've got limitless money. But what about having limitless, limitless money and not being able to breach financial fair play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. tell you, I'll you, tell you what, there's, there's, there's a couple of questions off the back of this for me. Uh, yeah. And that is, I mean, I we feel know, forever. And no, I do. Yeah, I do. I do as well. But look, we know we know that we we all like to um, bash the ball. I know I do, Sullivan. Yeah. But when you look at the fact that we've spent nearly nearly half a billion in the last three and a half years, do the board deserve a little bit of a pat on the back for doing it within the rules? Of course and, they do. Yeah. And, 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 and running us running us properly, and we've still spent mm-hmm. money, but we've done it within within. It, you know, it, it's the one thing I can't criticise. The board for right yeah. is yeah. yeah running it as a business. This business yeah. has been every fucking game's been sold out since they arrived. They know how to do that. They know how to put bums on the seats. They yeah. know how to balance the books. They know how to um, uh, make the money stretch. They mm. keep in control of their cash flow. It's never in you know it's never it's never been in trouble from the day they arrived. It's always been a very stable uh, yeah. business environment. Um, that's the least you expect though, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but it's, 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 it's not the way. And the other thing, John, just very quickly. Yeah, yeah, go on. As 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 we know, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you this. So, uh, as as we know, you have got the um, Saudi Arabian League, which which are going out. They're, they're just going to got Gallardo to manage a fucking team now. There's players going all over the place. We know they've got unlimited funds. Now, do you think that the Premier League? I, are I running haven't. The, no, 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 no. But do you think that they're running the risk, Gary, um, of by by kind of restricting Premier League teams? On, on wages and doing stuff like that. Do you think that there could be a bit of a knock on effect? But I was just losing the nah. emerging players. No, nah, because in look, I, I, on, I, you, I was you... asking John, Gary, I was asking John. Oh, were you? Sorry, John. Yeah. <laughs> Good, John. Sorry, Gal, I don't mind. No, Gal, I'm fine, That's... mate. I'm, you're fine no, it's all I wanted to say. It's all I want to say, John, is I posted a video to Nick the other week about what's the fucking diabolical mess Saudi Arabian football is and the fact it's in never going to it's no, never no, going to grow it's never going to grow there was right? a game, there's, there was, there's four there was a... state owned clubs who get all of the superstars right because they've got yeah. all the money people turn up to watch superstars don't turn up for any other games it's Mate. totally uncompetitive nobody watched it on telly this guy that that knows about these things he said look it's always going to be like this. China tried it. They put yeah. loads of money into it, the state, and they said, oh, fuck this, we're walking away from it. What you've what you, what you got, what you got to look at is this. A couple of weeks ago, Jordan Henderson played in a game and there was 600-odd people watching. Exactly. exactly. I, go and watch, I go and watch Hornchurch play sometimes and yeah. they have a 1,000 people. I so question the players, the right? What, I question look, look. the players. They've stopped being sportsmen and started just being, well, they're just going forever. They can get the most money, which I know is what motivates most footballers, but most top fo- footballers still want the competition side of it, right? You ain't getting it over there. And Air Henderson, he's anywhere near a fucking England team. I he don't know. Be. Fuck should be ashamed he of sh- going he over there. He shouldn't be, right. Anyway, rant over. A, diff- a, different, a different question to John. He'll probably nick this one as well, John. Um, so, um, <laughs> fuck it, hell. Um, so, so, black, do, do, do you do you think that um, FFP, especially with the fact that Everton are the, are the first team to be battered, do you think it's a little bit more designed to keep the small clubs small? Don't get ahead of yourselves. Well, don't, think, don't 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 cha- don't challenge don't challenge no, your big boys because you'll get you'll get smacked. No, no, you got to remember FFP and all that was brought in to protect some of the clubs going out of business, like Berry. You know, teams yeah. like that that went out yeah. of business lower down the pyramid. But right? not, 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 not the Premier League though. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. So that's intentionally what is brought in to stop the small teams going out of business. But then when you've got the smaller teams in the Premier League, mm. yeah, it means that they can't probably compete to that level. So you could argue, yes, that it's keeping it as a closed shop for the ones at the top of the tree. Yeah, but. You know, it doesn't have to be like that, does it? I, 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 personally, I think you need FFP rules. I really do. Because otherwise, look, I think you have to have the rules in place. I, I prefer it with the rules in place than not. And I think now that what's happened to um, Everton, 
and, and, and if things materialise with the other two, I think it will be taken a lot more seriously and it will actually be given more respect rather than all these clubs finding ways and avenues around it. And I think it has to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I, I agree. I agree. Right, one more quick one more quick talking point before we move on to the next WhatsApp, and that is, we haven't discussed it yet. That's, um, look, listen, it's funny because it's Arteta and it's Arsenal, but the sanctions against Arteta for speaking out sort of passionately, passionately after a game, it's funny. It's great. We hate Arsenal. We hate Arteta. But it is, yeah. it is the Premier League, the PGMOL, when you consider the volume of mistakes they've made, the points that they're costing teams, do you think it's wrong that these, these fuckers are not being held accountable? And, and Mickey, is 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 it? Are they running it like a dictatorship now? You just got to accept it and don't say anything back to us ever. Yeah, I think that that was. Um, I think that's what they was after. I think they love having that that yeah. power and not being questioned. If you if you question them, they're like it's the worst thing you can do to them. Yeah. Like so, I've, they, they love it, but. I mean, it couldn't happen to a nicer bloke, though, could it? Really? Oh, so no, I'm not no. worried about that. But yeah, I, I just, I, I'm not. I, you know, I don't like uh, referees and all that people. And I think you should be able to speak out. You definitely yeah. should be able you to should, speak you, out. You should be able to. And I, and I, I think if 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 the uh, coaches are going to be held accountable, because look, for instance, Arteta, right? Look, looking at it from their point of view, they are in a title race. Um, three points is a massive fucking deal to them. So the pressure on Arteta is massive. So if you talk to him immediately after a game, he's going to come out and he's going to be upset and they're going to say things. He, these managers just just are. They're, they're in pressure pot jobs. Mm. Um, but do you not think like Gary, do you not think like the referees should be made to talk and, and be held to account after games of as course. well when they're fucked uh, up? Yeah. Yeah, this is ridiculous. What we've got here, we've got um, referee. We've got this this monopoly of refereeing, uh, referees and VAR being provided by PG Mole, and um, and they're all part of the same. They're all mates. They're all part of the same union. They're all under the same leadership. We don't get to see their decision making. We see what they want us to see. We should literally be able to hear everything that's being discussed between VAR and the referee. We should be able to hear the referee. He should be mic'd up just like he is in rugby to make sure everything is fit and proper. And when a decision is made, I want to hear why it's made, right? And um, and after that, if it turns out to be the wrong decision, they should be forced in front of a camera, right? Because I'm not being funny. I don't like Arteta. I, I no, really don't. No. But if... I, I do tend to get a bit emotional about stuff like this. And if I was the Arsenal manager, God forbid, right? And any fucking manager, right? And and my team just been hard done by and I was seething. Don't put a camera in front of me because I'm just going to tell you how it is, right? Yeah. I, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. Thing is, the thing is, sorry to interrupt Gail again, but I, I think this is a great point from Nigel and he don't make many. Uh, managers constantly complaining and blaming referees led us too far. Now they complain about VAR. Need to respect refs first, then make it better. We never, ever, ever had all yeah. these over-elaborate discussions when it was just a man in the middle making decisions, right? What VAR has done is meant that the referee on the pitch has no real accountability because more often than not, they bottled the big decisions, yeah? Yes, yes. But 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 what used to happen was, with before VAR, I don't know if it still used to happen recent years before VAR, but I remember if an official had a bad game or a bad weekend and the assessors... Get the relegated. Watching it, they get relegated, basically, to, yeah. to go Championship or League One for a weekend yeah. or things like that. The, the, the problem is, is that VAR has created far more errors than we expected it to. But the Premier League, Nigel's right, the managers are to blame because yeah. now they're demanding semi-automated offside, which they voted against last season. And our setters club would have been one of them that voted against that. So that, you can't yeah. have it all ways. You can't that's sort have of, it all ways, that, you know? That sort of objective technology, like the goal line technology, that's fucking bring it in, yeah. bring it yeah, in. Yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah. it can't be fooled, right? No. Yeah, but yeah, but Gary, uh, this is right. Nigel's right. Of course, we we know why we arrived here. Yeah, but we're here now, and the way it's being utilised and deployed and, and enforced is a fucking joke. I mean, going back to did you did you see the Wolves Man United game at the start of the season yeah. where um where their, their keeper came out and wiped out Dawson? I mean, they, yeah, they, they've been robbed of a few, of, a, of a few points and, and a couple of penalties late they've had against them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's honestly, it's fucking shocking. And I and I, mm. and I did think that once it affected Liverpool um, and Arsenal, because we know like if 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 it goes against us or Everton or Wolves or teams like that, it just gets brushed over. 
But I thought maybe if it starts affecting the big teams, that you might see change. But we ain't going to see no fucking change. We're not going to. We've got the worst of all worlds, though. We've got a terrible implementation of VAR with the worst people operating it. And yeah, it is just yeah, yeah. technology, right? It's technology that you use. You know, there are things you could do to improve it, like don't draw lines on the pitch. If you can't see it with your naked eye in a camera, don't give yeah. it. Yeah, give a yeah, yeah. There yeah. are really easy improvements that you can make. You do not have to draw lines and find someone's fingertip offside. Fuck you remember, though, Gail, it was never supposed to be that. It was yeah, go on. Do you remember the Russian World Cup, though? Yeah. Gail, their VAR. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. It was, good. Like, it was really yeah. good. It took, like, seconds, and it was an awful, at the time, I thought, oh, that's all right. Then I don't mind the VAR. I well, Mickey, that's why we haven't got that technology. We've, 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 we've well, overcome. Mickey, we've, we do we've, have that we've, technology, we've, but we we have different people operating it. And also, yeah. we've got different rules around it. We've got our own rules. But if you look at the way it was implemented, you know, we played in the Europa League and we got to the semi final. VAR was in there for, I think, four or five different specific things. That was it, right? Nothing else. Yeah. yeah. And, and it worked perfectly. But, also, but, I, find, but, but, I, find, on, I find I find the language on some on some of the uh, VAR uh, commentaries that have been released when they talk to each other. Now I know you could. It sounds like me. It sounds like us having a chat here. All right, Dave, how you doing? Yeah, you know yeah. what we see in here. Well, I'm not sure if that one. What do you think, Alan? It, it seems yeah, they're mates. Bit, they're mates. Seems, yeah, I know they're mates, but they're doing. They know they're being recorded. They're not even doing it in a succinct and professional way. No. And, and, and there was an episode the other week where they realised the actual was it Liverpool game where they literally absolutely miscommunicated and realised oh no actually he gave the goal oh shit I didn't know he gave the goal it was like absolute confusion because. It doesn't seem like there's any. It just seems a little bit down the pub. You know, they've all got yeah, nicknames yeah. for each other. Yeah, uh, I, I get that, but you wouldn't do it in your but, office, would you? You'd but, be but, professional. But, but. But going back to going back to Mickey's point there, I think if you go back to that Russian World Cup where we all got, got a glimpse of it and it was working operationally, it was working well. It was just a simpler system, you know. We've overcomplicated it. Yeah, yeah. massively. Every, every we're, year we're, we had we're, new we're factors to it, right? It. New yeah. factors. I, I love the idea at the beginning of the season. Don't forget, why Why was the offside rule introduced into association football? Stop goal langing. Stop goal langing. Exactly, yeah. to stop yeah. goal langing. Mm. So how have we got to this point where they're drawing lines across the fucking pitch to find someone's toe offside? I know, it's mental, I know. isn't it? It's, it's mental. Yeah. Hey, does, does anyone know where that... Because they were trialling a, um, a clear... Like the offside clear gap. In Italy, I well, think. yeah, 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 yeah. That, I, 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 yeah, 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 but yeah, but the thing is, you say you love that. All that means is, is, is the line moves from the front to the back. You can have the same issues. No, no, but, but you, can, you, can you can automate that. Nick. You can automate so that. I've not seen it, so I don't know if. Well, I have no idea. I have no idea. You can you could automate that, Nick. If it's a fine daylight between players, you could automate that. Right, I've got I've got a bit of a bit of a risky one here. Nolly's just sent us one in, and I haven't screened it. Right, here we go. It's sent two. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play it first. Let me mute myself one minute. I want to see what one it is. Put some put some questions up, John. Yeah. So Sam David says in regards to VAR, it's like they're in a living room watching the game, debating it with a beer. Yeah, it is. Uh, he also says, obviously, what Mickey just said about the Wenger thing in Italy, the Wenger offside law would be brilliant. Mm. It would it would add to attacking football, right? It favour the attacking yeah. team. Which I'd like, I like to know how he's going, though. To be fair to you, I've been I've only, mm. I only just thought of that really... so, uh, discussion. Yeah, I haven't really looked into it. Carino says managers only complain when decisions go against them. They stay quiet that is for the rest correct. of the time. That is correct. Well, yeah, but probably fans do as well. Let's be honest. We're all self -fast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But there's nothing wrong with saying, look, there's nothing wrong with a manager saying, look, I'm glad we got a decision, but it was the wrong decision. Right. I found, yeah. I found the one. It's, it's, I've, I've not listened to it. Um, I just want because he sent me through free. So I found, I found the question. Here we go. Must be a lot of swearing in free. <laughs> All right, lads. Hope you're all okay. Um, <coughs> sorry, I haven't been around lately, but work is work. Um, what do I want to say? This is what I want to say. Um, I thought in the last game against Forest, I thought Kudos, who I love, was at, showed signs of being moist. If I'm going to be honest. Yeah. In other games where he's gone at them, he seemed to go sideways or backwards a little bit. Yeah. I agree with this. And that's starting to worry me that he's Moyes is getting into him and, and doing what he's done to so many of our players and fucking clipping their wings. Um, new manager, yes, please. Uh, would I love... We all talked about Potter, uh, Poch, you know, 
all, all lovely, but the one we all want is Alonso, or I think. I don't think that'll happen. I think Tim Titan will probably pick someone that none of us have fucking heard of. And if he, if he does what he does with the players, mate, happy fucking days. Yeah. Do I want Moyes out? I want Moyes out more than my fucking mother-in-laws. That's what I want. <laughs> All right, lads. Stay good, safe. Good, go good, on man. Your good man. Um, yeah, good man. Yeah, no, oh, oh, yeah. hang on. But no, 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 I do, I do, I do agree with him. Um, and with regards to Kadoosh, look, I know it was only one game, but what I saw... Um, what I saw was a player that all of a sudden looked like he was... He, he looked, some players will act on instructions. He looked like he was being safe because you've heard Moyes come out and criticise him a few times now He kept as well. turning around. He yeah, kept yeah, turning he kept, around. He kept turning around. And, and, we've, and we've also um, heard... I've, 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 I've heard this story from uh, from uh, some a, a good source about Paqueta where Moyes has struggled with Paqueta. He's moved him around and he wants Paqueta to do simple things and to stop taking chances. We've heard Moyes' frustration after games when he's given him compliments. He said, oh, would you, we've, we've got to fit him in because he's a maverick. He's amazing. But he doesn't do as he's told. He's, Watch, he's, 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 he's not Moyesable. He's not Moyesable. Well, that uh, masterclass by David Moyes, right? Um, yeah. He referred to the the four because he, he played 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one at Everton, right? We, but it's basically the same as what he does with us. Yeah. Uh, and the four... Uh, midfielders, the wide players, he just spoke about them as additional midfielders, right? As if they're just defenders. So to, yeah. to him, I think Paqueta is his Tony Hibbert. And I don't know who Caduce is, but he's just he's a, well, that's the guy that was crap going forward, right? So when it, he, he allowed Leighton Baines to go forward. So they had a relationship on the left, funny enough. So yeah. uh, there you go. Uh, and what what um the message I did did listen to from Nolly was he said <clears throat> um, he's not sure about Mabama. He thinks that Mabama should have been sent out to the championship first uh, this season. I, I agree with that. I think we should have signed a yeah, contract. Moyes refused. Moyes refused. He I, told I him he wanted. He, what, he was going to give him game time. I, 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 th I think he should have. He should have been sent out to the championship. Can I, can I just take my my take on the kudos thing about him at Forest? Yeah, against yeah, Forest. yeah. Um, I noticed that he was going backwards more often than not. I noticed that he um, played. A little bit uh, more within himself, yeah. But I think that was to eradicate the f that happened in the second half. I think that was to eradicate the fact that Elanga first half had Sufau on toast. Yes, yes. And yeah, I think yeah, yeah. That they, I think that they highlighted that problem. So I think Kudos in the second half was more focused on helping Sufau, and it was no coincidence that they didn't. They they sort of they quashed Elanga's threat. So I don't think he's you are correct. I don't think he's being moised. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I think it was more of a case of him doing was, his job to help he out his, his fullback who was struggling. He was so, doing the Boeing role, wasn't he? While, while Boeing yes, was sort of up front, yeah, he could have been doing yeah. a Boeing, Boeing but, role. But but but, there, but therein is a problem that I've got. Now, look, listen, I know everyone loves Sue Fowl. He's a good professional and he is a leader on the pitch. But your fullbacks have to be self-sufficient. You know, they, they, they really yeah, do. If you're, if, you're, if you're in a situation where they can't handle one player. Now, there isn't really a winger in the fucking league that there isn't quick and tricky. There isn't. You know, they're, they're, they're typically fast and tricky and Sufal's slow. He's, yeah. he's, uh, he's going to get roasted by most by most wingers that go up against him. So he well, will always right. as, need assistance. He will. Uh, he's going yeah, to. Yeah, as long as he plays in the Premier League, he ain't a Premier League player anymore in my view, right? As no. long as he plays in the Premier League, we're going to need someone in front of him to support him. And it it basically de it detracts from... But we know there have been so many games where Bowen apparently hasn't turned up. But he spent his 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 game his whole game pretty much protecting Sufal. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah. I know. yeah, but you I know, know it... yeah, but you know these days that players, a lot of players' roles ain't just the role that we we foresee. Like, you know, players have to more often than not do two or three roles during a game and, and being oh, yeah. and you know you do have to help out. You can't stop like. Yeah, but you know, John, I think he's. I think he's helping out. Like it's not just yeah. here and there. It's quite. It's uh, near uh, enough all game, really. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, but Elanga's Elang, Elang, what's his bloody name. Elanga is electric. He's not the best he player is. in the world, but he is rapid. Mm. I don't. I, so I sort of disagree that I don't think Sufal gets roasted by loads of wingers because there ain't he, men quicker than Elanga. He, ne he never. He never stops across John ever against no, decent teams. About... Against, against decent teams, he gets roasted every time. Uh, yeah, look, so uh, what's this one saying? Nigel, come back at us. Fullbacks have to be protected by those in front yeah. of them. Always yeah. have, always will. Yeah, I agree, but I also yeah, agree. Not, not, well. not so much. Not so much. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Look, what what annoys me, and this and this is what kind of proves 
the point from your masterclass video because he focused on the left hand side, but we're seeing it on the right hand side as well. And that is that the 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 wingers that are in front of the fullbacks they sacrifice themselves. Yeah, so the, that they, the fullbacks so the, so, are the attack. So, so right? the, fullbacks the fullbacks are the get, attack. How many times do we see Soufal meander up the fucking pitch yeah. and, rec and receive a beautiful switch pass from Aguirre? I'm not being funny. The guy should have fucking loads more assists because he's had so many well, cross on, opportunities. No, you no, know, no, but no, but John, he gets he, he's in acres of space. He gets he gets picked out a lot. Um, would you oh, not no. rather? Yeah, but would you not rather that ball land at Caduceus' feet? Well, no, because as you just said, nowadays fullbacks push on more. So what you would rather have is a fullback of better quality, and I mean that with total respect to Sufel. He's been great for us, but yeah. if we had if we had a better quality right back, maybe younger, a bit yeah. more, you know, qu a quicker, then you'd see more clarity. You, you'd see more. It, it, if you had an Emerson, no, 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 if you had you someone mean. of Emerson's no, no, quality no. over that side, because Piquet yeah. helps him out, yeah. but he doesn't have to do it every two minutes, does he? No, 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 no. That's what Emma's Mikey's just said as well. If you get someone like mm. Emerson type player uh, at the right, right wing, don't give, it, don't give Emma's Mikey any credit for fucking. Right. Bang on. Talk, talking, of, talk, talking of Hammers Mikey. Oh no! All right, lads. Emma's Mikey. Yeah. Just a quick one this week, and no complaints about the fans for once. <laughs> now that Antonio is out injured. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Why is it in? <laughs> Who would you like to see playing up top in our next game? Now, we know Mubami ain't going to get a start. So, who would you like to see? What would your team and what would your tactics be? All right. Thanks again, lads. Take it easy. Baked potatoes. Laters. Laters. Top man, Mikey. <laughs> That's right. what I'm Go on, Mickey. Who would you who would you like to see? If it ain't gonna be Mabemba. Who would I like to see? Oh. <laughs> the noise Gary look. I don't know. I really don't know. i there's difference who I'd like to see, but I, what I think I'll see. I I'll, yeah. I'll think that it'll be the same lineup and formation will it, will as it, Let's let's, let's 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 anticipate that Bowen will miss the first game back because he's he's picked up a it might not be serious, but if he's dropped out of England, this conspiracy theory that we've pulled him from England is nonsense. He's he And know, we can't have Mubama, no? We can't have Mubama. Yeah, yeah, you can well, you can. It's, no, it's who no, you no. it's who you do two, two things. Do no, two things, Mickey. Mickey, do two things. Hammond, Mickey, Hammond, do two things. Who you would like. Oh, yeah, oh, but Hammond, Mikey's question took Mubama out of the question, didn't he? Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah. But well, you no, can't no, have but, Mubama either. But, Right, but well, just say who you'd like and who you think Moyes is going to play. Yeah. Well, on, I think on. Moyes will play that uh, false nine sort of thing with Suchik roaming around as like a, a more progressive number 10, if you like, like he did against Forrest. Who yeah. I'd like to see would definitely be out of options Mubama, but then I'd also love to see, and he's, he's young, but I'd like to see that Marshall. So no, far, no. he looks... Well, you wouldn't. No, it's too soon for him to be. No, fun. I know that, but if we're running out of options, I'll just think, fuck it, let's take the chance. Why not? Why not? He looks rapid. He does look fast. He looks got an eye for goal. That's what I'm going for anyway. I'd rather see yeah. him in the knees. Uh, no, I, I agree. What about yourself, John? Um, well, and you're taking Bowen away as well. I'll take Bowen away. I, I probably would. I, me, I'd go Corne. No, he don't know the offside rule. You got to persist with him. I think a lot of that is him. I think, he, him. I, I think I think he tries too hard when tries, he comes on. Tries too he hard. Does. To do what? He does. No, no. When he comes on, he's he's never lazy, John. He's never lazy. <laughs> Getting caught offside regularly is fucking lazy. I'm sorry. Well, that's that's just a lack of football intelligence, isn't it? But <laughs> lazy. I mean, there was one. There was one time where he he was no twice. He's looking down the line as well, and you're like fucking. You know, if you get caught off, if you're looking down the line, you can't. You can't get caught offside. You can't. No. <clears throat> you who know. would I have out of who's left? I think you'd have to just go with Kudos and give it a go, wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, I, re I really do. I really do want to see Obama, but I know that's not a. It's not an option. No, I but... disagree. I'm not being horrible, Scott. I know you agree with Nick, yeah. So I disagree with Nick as well. The offsides are just from a lack of game time. It offsides are offside whether you're playing yeah. or not. That doesn't change. Yeah. Possibly timing, though, John. Possibly he's be. trying he's to get... He is quick. He is quick. You know, yeah. you, try, you time your run. And sometimes, 
I'm not being funny. You do know you have to get to know the players that are playing the balls as well because you know mm. margins are fine and you want to you want to make those runs at the right time. You know, as the ball's released, you want to go bang. Go what on. He tries too hard. Um, yeah, That's... well, when you're given a little tiny chance you've, and you given, know you've, you've got, got, got to, you've got to make try. an imprint. Otherwise, you're going to be ditched into the fucking reserves for another. But, but yeah. Have, have, yeah, but wouldn't wouldn't everyone like to see him at least before we do completely? Condemn? Yes, yes, I would like to see him. I'd like to see you him know? get a couple of games up front, like you, and I'd like to see Caduce on the right in his natural position. Um, Listen, I've seen Corne. I've seen Corne more on the A12 in his camouflage Lamborghini than I've seen him on the pitch at West Ham. Nice Barney, number, isn't it? Barney, uh, Barney McGrew sent in a voice note as well. Um, I couldn't really make much out. He said something about, you know, he's, he, he knows that Moyes is going there and he just sort of went into a bit of a rant. Um, I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm sorry, Barney. I know you're struggling, mate. Uh, we are here for you. We are here for you. All right. So if you do yeah, want to call, call us, call anyway, us any time of the night, mate. Call us any time. Yeah. I know it's I know it's difficult. I know it's a difficult time for you. <laughs> uh, if Moyes has a problem, he just has to call his daddy, Tim. <laughs> his daddy, Tim. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell! Imagine, imagine how Paquette must have laughed when he saw that tweet. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. You used to call me daddy, didn't you, Nick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Big Daddy, right? <laughs> right, where are we? Where... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> done him. Uh, right, I've got another one that I haven't. Um, I've not screened either. This is a new one, Harvey from Dover. All right, lads. This is uh, Harvey from uh, Dover. I just wanted to ask, do you reckon with all this going on in the club, you know, with Stighton being appointed, the academy fluxing and changing, more is expected to be sacked, new stadium dealerships, do you reckon that there is something big coming in change of ownership? And do you think we could be on a rise to a massive change yes. in our club structure? And in the potential history of the club, cheers, cheers, Harvey. Um, my my answer to that is yes, but I'll, I know Gary wants to. This, this is a Gary. Well, this is a Gary one. Yeah, look, I think um, I just want to say that this is something we were all kind of assuming at the beginning of the season. So uh, Mickey weren't on it, but me, John, and Nick were, and um, I think we all said it. We all said it, and we all ho hoped it would happen. So if it happens, we're all automatically cr uh, crowned ITKs. Yeah, we call yeah, it first. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 look, at the end of the day, I do think there's something. Uh, the 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 plan was always for Sullivan and Gold to to fatten it up and sell it. It was, you know, they're not here for the long term. I mean, you talk about the long term. You've seen Sullivan. I don't think there's a even. I think if you waited long enough, he'd be gone anyway. But um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm. I, I think there is. I, I do honestly believe that um, that there is a sale coming. Are the um, yeah. shares at a probate yet? Do we know? I don't think they are. Are they? They're not out of probate yet. Heard. Not that I've heard. No. I mean, so... we, 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 listen, listen, like, like him or loathe him, you're not going to like this comment, like none of you, I know you're not. Yeah. There's no doubt, there's no doubt that but Moyes is... Sean Whetstone, Sean Whetstone said, said it ain't happening, so, uh, so it ain't happening. Sally said it ain't, yeah. Nigel, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, no, Sally, no, Sally no. ain't told Sean yet. <laughs> right. Listen, 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 you're not going to like it. There's no doubt Moyes has taken us up a level. Let's be honest, we've won something, right? We got into Europe, so he has taken us up a level. But to move on, you, 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 you would need the club to be sold, in my opinion. And what what do you think about the the, the the naming rights of the stadium? Do you think that is going to come as a bit of a, a kickback onto trying to sell the club if the naming I think, rights? I, are I, think, I think it's a spanner in the works. Mm, that's what I mean. So that could yeah. actually hinder a sale, then, couldn't it? Well, it depends if the owner has got um, has got his eyes set on that on that stadium. You know, a, a good deal because if most it is would, a, mate. I think if it, most if, would. If, if, it, if it is a lucrative deal, then it's going to soften the burden on the LLDC. It will still we'll, we'll still make a loss. I mean, it ain't going to be that big a fucking deal, is it? But um, no, um, but, 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 that, that area, oh, it's fucking, listen, fucking amazing, John. Yeah, if you if you if you got hold of that stadium on the cheap, that is a cherry on the cake. That is, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. that is property. There's opportunities there beyond you know 
all, all belief. And um, if you're unable to sell it, or sorry, purchase it as part of buying the club, then then I think that does you know hinder potential sales maybe to some, maybe not some, but some. Yeah, yeah. you know the the there's naming rights is not very much though in in the scheme of things compared to other clubs, it's not very much money. We'll earn a little bit out of it, like Nigel says. Naming rights have nothing to do with us. It's done by the LLDC, but no, no, I know, you know, that. I know that. but. But when you factor in that small amount of money they're getting for naming rights every year, it still won't, I don't think, balance the books. They'll still be losing money. They'll just be oh, losing they will. less. They will. I'll, yeah. st I still think they'll be up for a deal, especially if the new owners compensated them for the loss of their uh, their naming rights people, or they could keep the name rights, whatever. Um, I, the thing is, that area uh, from, from the wasteland that we moved into, that area in another five years is going to be such a premium place to. Oh, it is. To it have is. A G G ground. Geo Geo made a good point um, on this Alliance Arena because, as as Nigel said, uh, the first four million goes to the LLDC, and then we share yeah. anything above that. Yeah. But if the Alliance are on their names on the arena, we know we've got the Betway um, sponsor at the moment. That's coming up yeah. for expiry. There's nothing to say that we couldn't negotiate a deal with the Alliance for for club sponsorship as well. Yeah. You know, they might they yeah. might want a lot. You know, yeah. so that, that's, that's where we could cash in. Because they've got the, uh, the say on the naming rights, and we haven't. Have we got any say of a possible grand share with Chelsea if that comes in? We've yeah, got to well, sign yeah. it off. We've got to sign it off, and but apparently we we're some sort yeah, of now, yeah. Then. Apparently we can we can refuse if we want to because uh, we've got the primary use or the. How would the you, how tenant. would you how would you feel about that, Gary, for four years with Chelsea? Uh, I wouldn't like it, but at the same time. No, I don't care. I mean, I did uh, when ah. when Charlton when Charlton used to play at Upton Park. All right, I've never hated Charlton like I hated Chelsea. I don't really hate Chelsea at the moment because they've got no John Terry Mate, and people I'm like sure that. Right? I forgot about that. Um, uh, you just but, said that and you reminded me. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, but but honestly, I never noticed when Charlton were there. Did you, John? You no, never noticed. No, I just forgot. I didn't yeah, know exactly. There. So um, so really, it's um. It's a bit shit for Chelsea to have to come to East London. Yeah. Every no, I would have won four fucking games, let alone four years now. But why club? But why why can't they just use Wembley? It's closer. I think that demeans Wembley, you know, like when Spurs used it. Like you shouldn't it, yeah, be yeah. using the national stadium for club games. You really shouldn't. Yeah. Fucking hell, I don't, I, I don't I, like I mean it. you got you got like you know, it. you got in, in you know in inter and AC Milan have shared the same stadium forever. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it matters. The pitch, the pitches are impeccable now. They're not going to get screwed up, right? We're not using it for rugby every other week or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm fine as long as West Ham get some. As, long as West Ham get some money for it, are they, they going to get some money from it? I don't know. Traitor, traitor, traitor in the midst. Giant Ace Yeah. No, no, no. Look, no, Nigel, yeah. Nigel went to a couple of Charlton games. What a but Charlton. Nigel, no, but would you go to a couple of Chelsea games? Would I you bet do he was. That? I bet I would see Nigel going to watch well, Chelsea. Let's see, let's see what he says. Right, Nigel, um, he will go to Chelsea games. Right, let's get let's get through these voice notes. Got a couple more. So this is this is um this is Dave from Raynham. So this is about the uh, the youth academy. He's got some information on that. Um, and then we'll have a little Ooh. chat after that one. Dave's interesting. He is. Hello all, it's Dave from Raynham here. It's not much a Hi, question, Dave. but I'd just like to uh, say with the uh, development of the youth team, what a good job Steve Potts is doing. Yes. Uh, taking over the under 21s. Obviously, Kevin Keane wanted to stay with the under 18s and raise a new crop. And I think there's some exciting youngsters there. But I think for continuity to have Potts take over the under 21s, when you consider that most of last year's under-18 squad has now joined it. Yeah. Many had already been playing for half the season last year. And it's really for the development of players that they play above their age groups. So although they're under-21s, under, under, sorry, under 21s, uh, a lot of them are 18, 19. In fact, yeah. Skulls and Orford are still 17. Yeah. I think Skullford turns, uh, sorry, Skulls turns 18 in... Uh, December and Orford's not 18 till next February so outstanding talents but I also think the interesting way is that Potts has introduced playing 3-4-3 three, three, with three at the back two holding creative midfielders but two attacking wing backs on either side wow. Skulls and Chester and three up front generally with a main striker with two attacking players on either side one of them being George Urfey I think the problem that we have is that 
there are a lot of good players instead of there being one outstanding one. But Marshall's uh, scoring um, 18 goals already this season and getting, albeit for Northern Ireland, international requisition at the uh, senior game mm. is only pluses. But the really thing that bugs me from all fans is, oh, they're youngsters, they can't handle it. Yeah. Well, you know what? The only way you show whether you can handle it Absolutely. is if you actually get a chance to play. Yep. And with this hectic uh, fixture that we've got, something like 11 or 12 games in 39 days, OK, come FA Cup time in January, wouldn't it be nice if someone like George Earthy could get a debut on the left-hand side, especially if people like Ben Rama or AFCON... It would be so nice to see them actually get a debut in a meaningful game instead really of a dead would. rubber. Yeah. Anyway, that's my various things. I'm sure the youth will keep on winning. Uh, the under-21s play Leon soon, so another chance at international matches. Anyway, keep up the good work, Claret and Boozers. Be watching tonight, so looking forward to a good show. All the best. Well, mate. Cheers, mate. Brilliant. Bye. Cheers, cheers, Dave. I mean, he's, he's Thanks, literally... Dave. The fountain of all knowledge when it comes to sort of the uh, the youth he academy. He's, he's um he, he really is. And do you know what? It's really interesting that he said the way that we're setting up now in the under twenty ones because John, as you know, that philosophy, although it's being run by Steve Potts and Kenny Brown, yeah. overseeing that is Tim Steiton and Noble. They're all feeding in together. This is an insight into the new philosophy that's going to be coming. Three, into well, three yeah. four three three, three four three well, three four well, three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dribbling. I'm salivating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know. What what generally happens is the, the academy follows what the first team do. Exactly. That's what that's yeah. what should happen. But it yeah. seems like the academy there, the way they're playing, is preparing for a change in style yes. from the first yeah, team. Yeah, thank so you for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this was my yeah. argument in the comments, uh, like before the show, in one of the comments things. And our youth is probably arguably the most exciting group of young talent in the country. Yeah. Right now, I mean, just goes to show with the FA Cup and the league wins and mm. that of last year. So the talent's there. He just needs a manager to give him a chance. 17, I know, like we were saying about Skull, 17, but there's been plenty of 17 year olds that have had their chance and, and took Absolutely. It. Absolutely. And you won't know whether they will or not. No, and I am going to call Nigel out here, right? And I am because. The reason he's put the zzz there, right, it isn't because of the call, Dave from Raynham. For some reason, and I do find this quite disappointing with you, Nigel, as you are kind of a, an old school West Ham fan, he kind of dismisses the idea and the thought and, and the conversation yeah. about getting youth players into that team. He doesn't really he doesn't really care too much for a it, lot, you know. I like that though, Nick. A lot of people just say, oh, I, they, that, I, I, do, wipe, I do find that quite they, odd, they mate. It aside. They, they wipe it aside. They've got a couple of uh, like canned statements where they say he's given 10 players their debuts. Yeah, but never given them another fucking game, right? Yeah, I know. I know. We've all seen players at West Ham over the years come through to the first team. Some of them have been successful. Some of them have been moderate, but we've seen a lot of them come through and, and they've all been eased in. Right, they've all been easy. Yeah. Gradually, 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 they play a few more minutes, a few more minutes, they get a start. They get a start, they're out for a few games, they get another start. You know, it, it's not saying that you, very rare you get a, a player who's so fucking good, like Rice, that they can come in and, and, and basically, even he fucked up, right? But you're not, you're not going to get, oh, let's, Rooney's a better example, fucking hit the ground running, bang goals, everything. But that is the top couple of percent of players, right? Everyone else, mainly, is in the middle section, you know, somewhere in the middle section. And they're going to be, you know, it's going to take them a while to evolve. They're not superstars, but they no. could be very, yeah. very good Premier League players. And and, and, this, and this is a thing. Yeah. And this goes back to a, a debate that we were all having on, on, on Twitter yesterday where... Um, uh, you can go back and find it. It's um, we we always do us and West Ham Network have a bit of back and forth. But what Russ mm. did is he he put up stats, um, winning percentages uh, for for David for David Moyes. Now what you've got there in the top six, you've got Harry Redknapp who played considerably more games. You've got Slavin Bilic who's higher than um uh, the Moyes. But on the whole, you've got Pardew there as well. On the whole, you're talking about minimal percentages. They're all around about forty eight percent. So my question was. If playing this way, because what they do is they say, would you rather play well and lose or play poorly and win? As if the way David Moyes is doing it guarantees results. Well, that stat proves that isn't the case. So we're getting the same win ratio. We've spent a load more money. We're getting the same win ratio. 
But what Harry, but what Harry Redknapp yeah. and Slavin Bilic, and you could even argue Pardew did, was they also ticked the entertainment box and they ticked bringing youth players through as well, yeah, which are the yeah. three fundamental things. And and what I said was because it all, all comes back to what they say is they said uh, they said it's a, a results based business. That's the argument they give. And my question was, I'll read it out. I said, look, the results based business argument is very generic. Tell me a business in the world that is not results based. To most fans, football is not a business at all. It's a sport. A sport is an entertainment. If success comes, it should come as a byproduct of entertainment, not at the expense of. It's a business to the owners. Fans should never consider the business aspect of football, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, uh, now so what would yeah. you rather have? If, you, if, you, if you're going to have like a 48% to 50% win rate, do you do you want to fucking bore yourself to tears to get that? Or do you want the other boxes ticked as well? No. And, if, and, and get if, the package. If you could, if you could um, guarantee that the boring football would bring you trophies every season, you'd accept yes. it. Yeah. But once it, once it doesn't produce trophies or adequate success it will become a problem, which is why, you know, Mourinho has a small shelf life in most of these clubs. Conte yeah. has a shelf life in most of their clubs because, you know, their style of football isn't brilliant, but initially they can win trophies and it's exciting. Apart from Spurs. Yes, Spurs. Yes, Cal, yeah, yeah, apart from Spurs. Yeah. Apart from Spurs, but yeah, and, you know, that's Spurs for you, isn't it? But yeah. yeah, no, I do agree with you to some extent. I mean, what Moyes did last year, the football was dire in the main, but the trophy did, for me... It put aside a lot of the bad football that I saw, especially in the league, because yeah. we won a trophy. And that's not me being negligent or yeah. accepting dross. It isn't. The yeah, but, trophy, yeah, but, the yeah, trophy but to, some, to some degree, papered over the cracks. But, but yeah, we course, forgave that season because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah but yeah. I think that would have been the case for all of us if he'd have gone in the summer. We'd have forgotten about that season. We would have. But now what you've got is you, you see, you're seeing a continuation of the same shit football. Um, you are now. It's, it's, it's all coming out now. And that extends now to last season and six months into the season before. We're talking almost fucking two years of shit. That's what we're mm. talking about now. Two years of shit football. Um, yeah, but the, and the, the so, Europe, so, 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 so but now the you European can't... stuff has, has, has given us something to hold on to, hasn't it? It has, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it has, it has. Of course it has, but you can't, you I mean. can't ignore the fact that the Premier League is your bread and butter. People say stability, stability, stability. We was in a 35-game relegation battle last year. That is not stable. I'm sorry. No. Okay, so uh, people, that, that annoys me. That, that, that annoys me when hell. people dress up last season as a great set. It wasn't. The cup it final wasn't. was a great success. It the cup away, run was a great success. Away with one. The league was a with fucking one. disaster. It yeah. really was. It, it, 140 million he spent in that summer, and then yeah, he went on. And, 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 go, sorry, sorry, Nick. Go on, mate. Go on, go on, go on. No, you're saying in that argument, you're never gonna uh, please the results based fans. Never. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, I've. It's proven if you look back that it isn't results based because with David Moyes we're not we're not no. getting any better results wise than what we did no. under the other managers. Yeah but, yeah, yeah, but hang on, we're all results based. We all want to see good results, right? But we want to see us trying to attack other teams and trying to take the game yeah. to other teams, trying to win the game rather than trying to not lose the game. That's it. If it was yes. someone who played, this is where the fucking the argument just derails itself because these people just. They, they just put you down and say, you know, like that silly question from that other channel, right? Yes. Um, that silly question was basically trying to say that boring and winning are mutually exclusive. Ah, I and, do, and, do you know, and do you know what? Do you know what, though? To, to answer that question, right, would you rather play well and lose or play badly and win? Now, for a start... It's if not you a play, question. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, it, on the whole... If you play well and lose, you've probably been unlucky. If you play badly and win, you've been lucky. You know that that question That's, was as good quality as, as that as that questionnaire we had to fill out moving into the London Stadium issued by oh, the no. club. It was a deeply spun <laughs> set of question, you know, question with just two answers that was missing about two other answers at least. Oh no! Right? Oh, oh no! Right, um, I've got a nip nip to the toilet. Won't be a minute. Right, I've got Sam from Baz Vegas. I think this is a question. Oh, hang on a minute. What have I done here? Oh, here it is. What have we done? What have I done? Oh, no. Here we go. How you doing, lads? Hope you're all doing well. There's another international break that we've got. Fucking non-stop at the moment, isn't it? Boring ass weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah, never mind. Um, right. January window coming up. Uh, we obviously need a right back and another striker, if you ask me. Uh, right back, I haven't really got a clue to get, but 
striker, I wouldn't mind the uh, Fonwee. I think his name is Fonwee from Forest. Yes. Nice, mm. big, strong lad. Hey, 26. Um, obviously, if we're going to keep uh, Moyes to the end of the season, look, like it looks like we are, I think it'd sort of be fitting perfectly. You might be able to get him a bit cheap, 20, 25 mil. He's only 26, he's a bit of refal, uh, resale value there. Just wanted to get your, your opinion on it. What do you think, or do you know anyone else? And um, another one, quick one for Nick. Uh, what's uh, James Walprass got to do? For you to be able to say something like that, like to say he's had a good game without saying but after it, because it <laughs> seems to happen all the time now. Well the geezer's been well quality said, for us since he's been here. Well but, uh, yeah, that's my well opinion. Said, I'll, 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 have a good evening, boys. Love the show. I will answer that question after. So, uh, Sam, thank you very much for that. So, in terms of Taiwo Awiyimni, I think that's how you say his name. Fucking excellent. Awani, Awani, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a he's a he's a phenomenal player. And he would be an I improvement. Say phenomenal, calm down. No, 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 no. Phenomenal for what we need. You could not. I think he would be an improvement on Antonio. I think he's that good yeah, in that role. I don't think. Could you think of another player in the Premier League at least that could do that? You could. No. If you if you could cherry pick an Antonio replacement, it would be him. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. But the problem is, you're not going to get him in January. We only need a loan player because the boys is going in the summer. As we I don't believe. think so you'd get him. For, I don't think you'd get him for 25 million now either. No, but you wouldn't want to buy him. We, we don't want to no. buy anybody that's designed just for Moyes' system because if we believe what's been peddled around, we're not going to be playing that system. So you don't want to buy us. Anyone we get in January is going to be low. But imagine, yes. how, imagine how we'd struggle on this show with Mbemba and how we we need up front. Uh, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't. I'd just call them. I'd make up names from like Dave and John or something. Well, I, think, I think it like he, he even alluded to that, and it is the, the case. We, it would be brilliant for us under a Moyes system. I agree. But yeah. after agree. that, what do you do after that? Like, could I, he... I, yeah, but do you, do you not think a player like that would always be useful off the bench? Fuck me. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's explosive. Good. I but like only... him. I do, I do think he's good. And like I said, I think he'll fit in our system perfectly. I think that he'd be a Moyes wet dream. Yeah. But um, what's all that about? Scott, I don't know. Worry, Scottish, Scottish nonce. Have you deleted him? It. Yeah, I got rid of it. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> but where I was uh, yeah. now, just put me right yeah, off. I know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but Taiwo ty- 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 and we and we. Oh, and hello. We need... Green streaks turn up. Hang on, yeah, Green streaks. Yeah, yeah, he's got, got, yeah. he's got, yeah. got his naughty jacket on. Um, Nigel, Nigel's picked you up on the word phenomenal, Nick, because I did say to you, calm down a little bit. No, what, 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 no what, I'm, what I meant was, what I meant was a phenomenal yeah. replacement for Antonio. Right. Is what I, I know meant. what you're saying, is, but is, is what I meant. Is what I meant. Um, and I, and good... I think he would be the, the only thing that the only thing I would say is I did watch um, the Forest preview on the West Ham Network, and they had a really nice fan on there, really good yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forest fan. He did say the guy is amazing for them, but he said he's so injury prone. He said so yeah. like. Always out. He said we need him. He said we, we we literally do need him in our team the way that we play because they play a similar way. They play counter attacking football and they, they kind of play the low block and whatever. And he's really really important to them. So again, second, can we get on to the second part of Sam from Las Vegas's question? Yeah, I'm going to, and I, I did answer yeah. it as well. So so the second part of Sam from Las Vegas's question, Gary, you was away. Was what's it going to take for James Wall Prowse to put in to. a performance without me going? He played well, but. Now, look, the issue that I've got here is it isn't the player. I said this earlier on. It isn't so much the player. It's not. I do I do accept that he's absolutely probably the best at what he does. Okay, but my my, my, my issue that I've got is with him is in central midfield. I don't think he's a, he's a progressive player. I think after Forrest, his set pieces and Suchek's goal, they got, us in, they got us in front. They won us a game. But they were part of the reason why we struggled as well because you lose the midfield with James mm. Ward-Prowse and with and with Suchek in there as well. Well, Suchek does more, it, but mm. hang, hang on, Gal. But but what I'm what I'm saying is, the reason for that is it's really weird because James Ward-Prowse has got an amazing right foot, amazing. Yeah. But when he's in a midfield position, the guy is too conservative. You know, he, he, he's no good defensively. None. He runs a lot, yes, but he's got no defensive awareness. He's never in the right place at the right time defensively. He's not. Uh, so he's a bit of a ghost in midfield defensively. When he gets a ball. He plays sideways and backwards. That is what he does, um, and and that's proved. There is a there's an article in the Athletic as well, and I know John's going to roll his eyes because uh, we we sent this later on. But what they said was was the very same thing. They said if you want to play a possession based game and you want to control a game, James Ward Prowse ain't your man. That's the reason why Southgate don't pick him. That's the reason why other clubs won't queue him around the block for him. He's he's both one of the best players in in the league. 
and one of the worst in some aspects as well mm -hmm. because he's he's a specialist. And what they said was was that you kind of almost need to play him in a right. You need to carry him, but he's worth carrying. But you've got to, you've got to play him. You've got to have a support structure behind him. So like you said before, Gary, if you're going to use him, you probably play him in the ten with a solid midfield behind him. Let him have maybe a free roll. But you can't play him deep. It's suicide. You, I well, think. You, you either do that or you do what he did occasionally at Southampton. You said this the other day. Play him on the right. You, and you could put Caduce up front, for instance, if Bowen is out. Um, so what, Im imagine his delivery from the right-hand side. Beckham had no pace. Well, imagine well, him whipping balls in. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a lot better, wouldn't it? It'd be a lot better. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, he, uh, that is where I... But then, you know, he likes to play people on inverted wingers, doesn't he? So he'd probably play him on the left. But he won't play him on the left because that's where players my big, my big My big issue is with it, Nick, is that when we was linked with him, you <clears> didn't want us to buy him. I didn't. When we bought, I didn't. When we bought, when, hang on. When we bought him, you called him a one-trick pony. Yeah. When, when, we, when we bought him, you called him a one-trick pony. You continue to call him a one-trick pony. You you clock, you praised him for them few performances when he was played in the right position, which was basically part of two, almost yeah. like two eights we played, bright and yep. away, played some fantastic passes. And then when he's been... When he's been uh, forced into a more defensive role, which he might not be cut out for. You, you, you're going in on the player when, when, when yeah. He, no, 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 I, I do, I do, I do, I do, accept, I do accept. I have been harsh on him, but the, I Massively do. Harsh. Yeah, yeah, but I maintain my my stance on that, and I, I will what? say this now. I, I, I'll tell you what. Hold me to it. I think if we do get another manager in that is, um, that, and we play a progressive style and we want to control the game, Wall Prowse is the first player that comes out. I mean it. I think he will be. Well, yeah. First player more than Sushek. Yeah. No, no, not not the first, but well, but he'll come out. Player, yeah, what I mean is he'll come out. He won't be in that team because I don't think I don't He's think you. No, I don't think I don't think you play him. I don't think you play him the, if you the, want to control the, the game. The, 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 the problem I think the problem you've got is is that you are, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, because of what James Ward Prowse what his main skill set is, which is set piece delivery, it annoys you that you think Moyes is just going to hang his hat on dead ball delivery. Uh, that, I'm not going to get annoyed. That as well. Yeah, that you, as well. You almost get annoyed when we score set piece goals, which baffles me. It pisses you off. Yeah, we not, don't. We don't. I'll tell you what, John. I'll tell you what, John. We 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 score set piece goals against There's teams. Wrong with that. Hang on, we we talk we score set piece goals against teams who can't defend set pieces like Forest. They were rubbish well, at defense. Oh, wait, wait, it was you, known you, you, even the guy know, the Gar Forest Gar guy on that West Ham network said before the game they can't defend set pieces. Yeah, and I think yeah. I think what what he does is he gains confidence with every uh, free kick wall press. He, he he sees the defense panic. He finds out where to put it. Keeps on putting in that place, and it hurts them. Right when he plays against a side who are very good at defending set pieces, he tries. One or two, they don't come off. Then he don't know where to go. Um, so yeah, you can't. And it just, it, no. I'm not saying it's a bad thing delivering, no, no, trying to deliver good set pieces and all that. But I'm just saying rely, it should not be something we rely on. It is a lottery. You can't rely on it. You it is a lottery. Yeah. No, I've seen Colin Miller. Sorry, John. Colin Miller. Oh, he says about JWP. His brain ain't on the pitch. And they, I've, I've got to disagree with that because some of the balls that he's putting over the top. That one in the uh, European... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, to, to pick, to yeah pick amazing. To pick really good. He is on it. Yeah. I just don't uh, yeah. agree. I think that where JWP looks bad, he's in Kenny's Moyes, but it's that system where he plays him a lot. If he plays him in his right position, he does spray balls. What I'm saying is, if Tim Stein had the reins in the summer, our central midfield would have been Alvarez, Paqueta and Fafana. That would have been our midfield three, um, uh, an explosive, powerful midfield uh, with with energy to get up and down. And then you put the they they are the building blocks, and you win the midfield, and then that gives your forwards uh, a platform to go and succeed, and it gives your defence sufficient cover. So I do think it isn't it's not Wall Prowse's fault, and maybe we could find somewhere else for him in that team. I do have well, an issue with him in the middle. I'm sorry. Well, I, 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 I do, do I do think he's got I do think one of his great um, skill sets is the forward pass. And uh, you've got to put him in, he's got to be played in an advanced St position yeah, to make that forward pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advanced. No, no, if forget statistics. Position. Because yeah, most, yeah. if you're going to go on statistics, most of the time lately he's been played as a central defensive yeah. midfielder. So he's never been in that position. But whenever yeah. he's been in that position, like against Olympiacos, like earlier in the season, he has put in, he's found the player that he's looking for. And it's almost instinctive with him. So it's not his fault. He does have something, right? Yeah. But it's not what we're asking him to do. It's Moise's fault. Yeah, no, totally. no. yeah, I know. Yeah. 
So say something complimentary about him, Nick. Now, I'll, I'll re- let me let me let me read the stat quickly from the Athletic. So it says Wolf Prowse oh, had the most. The it, listen, listen. He had the most touches of any West Ham player against Forest, ninety-one. But he was overly safe in possession. Paqueta, Alvarez, and Suchek all had a higher proportion of their passes go forward. Paqueta and Caduce made more ball recoveries in, than him, and Suchek and Alvarez made more clearances. Um, and he said, and they go on to say, Moyes tried to evolve West Ham into a possession-based side at the start of last season. Sensibly abandoned it and reverted to defence first performances, which brought European glory. He's again fa- uh, faced critique for his stubbornness and tactical um, predictability this season. We're trying to change a little bit of how we play. I don't want to lose the toughness and the hard to play against. And sometimes, um, you you know, you have to win. I don't know if I would use the word ugly in, in, in other ways. But for West Ham to control games, Ward Prowse is not the right type of midfielder. Mm. And it is a reason that Gareth Southgate overlooks him for England, despite a lack of creative depth in that role and position. He's won just 11 caps since his senior, his senior um, uh, debut <laughs> six and a half years ago. I think that I think as well that Wal Prowse is damaged by having a share in midfield with Suchek, right? The same as Rice had to eat you know, Rice covered for him most of the time. But Rice he's yeah. carrying well, him. Well, Wal Prowse ain't gonna, yeah, Wal Prowse ain't gonna carry him, John. He ain't gonna carry no, him like Rice, Rice exactly. right? Yeah, so yeah. I would be inclined to move uh um Paqueta in the middle, lose Suchek, and let Paqueta and JWP play together. Two ball players, yep. see how they get on. Oh, yeah. no, do, you know, do you know the other thing as well, though? I know, I know, J, JWP is benefiting from taking every set piece now, and he's he's got he's great at them. He is yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. But statistically, our set pieces success rate is not. Then we're no better than what we were last season, the season before, so, and the season before that. Yes, we're not. You just from you just subconsciously did the very thing that Sam said. You what? went. You said, "I know JWP's set pieces are brilliant." But statistically, uh, no, 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 no. But we're not any better. We're not. We're not any better than what we were last season. Well, the season in terms we, of our, we are. His assist of, rates are mad. I mean, we've got no, loads of assists. No, no, but no, but Gary, well, I'm know, talking about goal, saying, goals from saying. corners over the last that we've not in, we've not increased. We yeah, I know, I know. But that, but again, I think it will increase when you play against teams who can't defend set pieces. I'm I'm, I'm guessing Bre- uh, Burnley are not very good at it, mm. right? For instance, yeah. Well. No, no, we look. Yeah. We should. We should beat Burnley. We should beat Burnley. We have to, really. Yeah. Um, let me have a look. See if I've got any more messages. John, have you got any on the group that you want to read out? Yes, I will just have a look, Nick. You put me on the spot somewhat there, young man. Well, poor preparation. Fuck <laughs> off! I oh, oh, fucking right. sent one in. Hey. Oh what yeah, you, you did. One, well, one minute. Yeah, I've got. Done now. I've, I've got, got to hear your voice twice, have I? I've got to be yeah. I'm all confused. I've I've got got Mickey out. asking Mickey a question. I've got. I've got, I've got. I've got. I've got dog ass first. One minute. Hello, Next boys, answer his own question. Dog quiet. ass. Um, my question tonight would be: If you could get rid of Antonio Sloth, aka Suchek, <laughs> Snail Trow. <laughs> AKA Sufal. <laughs> and obviously Cold Face Moyers. Oh. Who would you replace them with? Oh. Hey? Well, That's me, then. boys. Good luck. Have a good show. I'll tell you what, let's play the game. Let's right. pretend we haven't got Tim Stein and we're going to pick the manager. Who would your preferred manager be to come in and revolutionise the way that we play? Get us, get us playing a more progressive style. So imagine Tim's not here. Who would you put in place, John? Well, the best pick, the pick that I know you're going to go, Ooh, why can't it happen, would be Alonso, wouldn't it? Yeah, all day long. Um, um, purely on the fact that, yeah, he, he, he's got Lever Cues and playing good football. I don't watch a lot of it. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Um, he's young. He's hungry. knows the Premier League. Yeah. You know, he's got a good, he seems like he's got a good philosophy of what he, how he wants to play. And you got to remember, he's played for some great clubs under some great managers. So sometimes, not always, like Steven Gerrard, but sometimes that works out well. So for me, yeah, I'd go for uh, I'd go for uh, Alonso. What is going on? I just said drop a like on a video. Done a few thumbs no, up. But there was some um, fireworks behind yeah. you and shit. Yeah. Again. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. yeah. Now you can see where your memberships go, people. Arjun, thank you very Thanks, much. Arjun. Oh look, it's Dodsey. Looks like Dodsey there, doesn't he? Yes, Dodsey does look like Donald Trump. He does. Meet West Ham Great again. And who does uh, John? Who does uh, John? Who, who does uh, who does Nigel Shedman look like? Nigel looks like Jack Boswell from Bread. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. He's yeah. a spit. You should, get, 
you should put the image up on here, but it's too late, man. Uh, yeah, so for me, I'd go for Alonso. I'd like Graham Potter because I think he's got a lot to I'd give. I'd give him a go. I'd give him and a go. And I think that the Chelsea not situation was beyond him because Chelsea was in shit street. The only so the only thing I'll is, hope. I would I would go for Graham Potter in a Tim Steiton now. Yeah, so yeah, if we got yeah, him yeah. now, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But not but yeah. not but not if it was just uh, not if it was just him replacing Moyes. I, I wouldn't. Um, no. No. How, about, how about you, Mickey? Alonso? I think everyone would, wouldn't they? Yeah, Alonso. I wouldn't go for... A, we've had this before, but I wouldn't go... I'm not a fan. I'm not a Potter's greatest fan. I ain't. No. So, if I'm getting a chance to pick one, it wouldn't be Potter. It would be Alonso. Mm. Um, that yeah. bloke who, who Gary said in his video, I like the sound of these, do you know what I mean? But if I've got to pick the one, Alonso, Yeah. Yeah. Potter and Some, singer number two. Good, good someone shout. said in a comment that he's like the German Tuchel, and I thought Tuchel's German, isn't he? Yes. I'll tell you what. <laughs> is, Nigel, Nigel. Right, one second. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you that question. If, say, Moyes is gone, who would your pick be? Who would you choose to come in and replace David Moyes? Um, I think Sam would do a great job, didn't you? Sam Allardyce, he, he would be. Would be uh, when, when, when was that? When we got relegated, what you mean? That big match, I'm, I'm assuming Liverpool, you meant in 1978 or something, wasn't it? Yeah, Liverpool game. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. I, you know, I think I think back then things were different, right? Getting relegated was nowhere near the end of the year. The money was... Yeah. We were still on telly, weren't we? And Because uh, we were like the big attraction. Um, there weren't much football on telly yeah. in general. The, the, the no, finances, we yeah. could all compete. It was different. Um, yeah. I think I think if social media had been around then and the stakes were not so high, yeah, I tell, I tell you what, maybe, maybe, maybe you would have just abused Sam Allardyce online as opposed to chasing him around all gate one way system. Nice, uh, you know? <laughs> um, so so uh, so yeah, you know, you found different ways to get to him, didn't you? Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's an interesting one. I do, I do think that. Um, I do, I'm, I'm re I am genuinely excited about the summer. I am. It can't come soon enough for me. This this season now just feels like a bit of a fucking inconvenience. It feels like we're just riding it out, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. To a degree. Well, yeah. And look, let's be honest. Um, Sullivan's comments, which he's now retracted, obviously, as, as you all did the videos last week. Yeah. Um, it just puts you in a state of you're sort of stagnated for a season almost. Yeah. You? Because you're sort of waiting for something to change, hoping something will change, but. You know, well, that's the thing, right? I mean, I, if, if I was Sullivan made a mistake in putting it out there, but if I was him, I'd have left it there, right? Because yeah, is, it gave yeah. people it gave people hope and it kind of cheered people up for a while. And now they've come out and said he's still in with a chance, it puts people on edge again, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the ones who don't want Moyes, and there is there are lots of them. What do you think of this from Steve West Ham Bell Company? Imagine if Burnley got relegated. I'll, I'll take, take him. him. I'll take him in a heartbeat. What do you think of that? That's, that's, that's quite yeah, a good Yeah, because, because what, what people don't realise is Company built um, a new way of playing um, and he, he built a team for yeah. the championship. Yeah, he's yeah, come yeah, up yeah. and this team that he's got, they can't play any other way. They haven't invested. So, yeah. you know, I think that they might do. I mean, they create a lot of chances, John, don't they? You know, in a game. They're, they're, yeah, they do. Good. They they don't. They need a striker, but even then, yeah. I think they'll still fall short because they take too many risks. They take basically they, they take too many liberties, too many liberties at the back. They they're trying to play the right way, the modern way, and all that, but they haven't got the players capable of doing it in the Premier League. You know, they did it in a Championship. They, they they do create a few chances, but yeah, they're not clinical up front at all. But yeah, I ain't yeah. seen enough of them really to say that, as you said to you the other day. So I can't. Yeah. I don't know. I can't say yes or no with that. Well, you need, you know, you've got to come on this show, mate. You've got to watch a lot of football, son. You can't. I know, uh, mate. You know, you can't just, just keep delivering just, letters. I you can't just keep delivering letters every day. Right. <laughs> right, we're going to have a double dose of Mickey. Are you ready? Is Mickey going to answer his own question? Yeah. 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 He, knows the, he knows the question. Hello, so Clara got... and Booze. What do you know? Mickey here, <laughs> long time listener, gold badge membership owner, meme. Voice over extraordinaire and just <laughs> me. Anyway, here's my question for you. So, Antonio obviously has got injured on international duty and looks like it's going to be a lengthy layoff. So, my question is what do you think Moyes is going to do now? Do you think, like, a few options really, aren't now? Do you think that he's going to start Ings more? Do you think he's going to start and Barmer more, mm. or do you think, as I suspect, he's going to keep the same formation and team as the one we saw 
against the three two win against Forest. Be interested to know. Anyway, lads, be lucky. What? <laughs> what, <laughs> what a great fucking what, what question that was. Yeah, it was thanks, a great thank question. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey, for your question. Well, <laughs> thanks, Mickey, wherever you are. Listen, you just know, you just know he's won a game with that team. The next, the next game will be that team, if possible. Mm. All right, nothing will change. We know that. You know, he'll, he'll look at that as a magnificent win. In fact, it was a, we scraped it. Um, I'm just depressing myself by look. Go on, John. You, 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 you respond to Mickey as well. Go on. Go on. Uh, well, look, we know we we know we want him to play, but. <laughs> Yeah, you just want me to say it again, didn't you? Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's sorry? Is is Leroy? Is Leroy managing a team? No, it's uh, Leroy's son, Liam. Liam Rossini. He's Rossini. managing a team. Oh, yeah. He's managed Yeah. Yeah. He's been there this season. He's doing really well. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, look, look. Um. I'm sure. Look, Mickey's been here now for weeks after week after week. I think it's safe to say he's a. Uh, He's officially a Claret and Boozer now. He's, he's one of us. He's one of us. Yeah. A, bad, a lot of bad one, smell. One of the same. You're part of the WhatsApp group now as well, aren't you, Mick? Yeah, mate. I've made it, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. I'm right involved now. Yeah. <laughs> you, might see, you might see a daily ramble from me, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, so, so it's, it, is, it, is a, it is an interesting one with... Um, I, I don't... Because this is the thing. When it comes to sort of talking about what we want, it becomes yeah. very frustrating because... Yeah. You, you just feel like it's a waste of time, don't you? Because do, do you remember? Do you remember we used to do the team selection thing when we first yes, started? Yes. Fucking nuts because we were just picking the team what we wanted, but in the end we just started giving we up. We binned it. Our... We binned it, didn't we? We, we binned no, it. We, we just gave started up. What we think, what we think, Moyes will pick. It was just yeah. pointless. So I know. dull. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. But we've got um, Arnie's just sent a message in. Ah, uh, oh, Arnie. Arnie, how you doing? Sorry, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Mickey, what? what's your yeah. response to Mickey? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mickey. What about Mickey's question, Mickey? Well, first of all, I thought it was a fantastic insight. It was. It was. It was. It was I fantastic. thought it was Joe Pasquale phoning up, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a song to get on your nerves if you carry yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do you know what? Because it would, to be fair, we already answered that same question earlier on. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just think that it'll be two checks. So it will be so it'd be the same formation. Of what we saw against Forest, I yeah. don't yeah. think that there's anything else he'll do. That's my, my personal opinion. My, my 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 approach, my preferred approach for the remainder of well, well for the next game would be exactly the way that the, the the team that played against Arsenal. Yeah, it would be yeah. with that midfield. Um, with that midfield, uh, it it would be. Um, I'd I'd love I'd love that. Um, and the way that we pressed as well. I mean, we I've I've not seen us press like that before. You know, in the second half in particular, we were we we were so good. It would be good, right? Um, this this is one that we've got to ask Nigel. Nigel can get back to us on that. Where is it, John? Yeah. Uh, um, when is the next history of West Ham guys? Second time of asking. First of all, QZ seventy seven. Calm the fuck down, geezer. Don't get out of your fucking ground. <laughs> Second time of asking. <laughs> Calm down, mate. We're very very. I've busy. asked you once right? now. You, can you, you know, answer this not, time? You're, you're not one of the Grey brothers, are you? Um, it might yeah, be. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We did we yeah. did film this a long time ago. I think Nigel. We were going to do it again. You remember, we're going to do it again because Nigel deemed that 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 version out of date, and we're going to go and do it again. Oh, we've got to refilm the second. Yeah, but when are we? Yeah. Gonna no, have time no, no we're not going to. We're not. We're not going to do that. Nigel's going to give us a date, and we're going to probably do it before Christmas if he can make a weekend. Um, so yeah. hopefully, hopefully, but um, why does he keep putting money before us? What's wrong with the game? I know, I know. He's got his, his priorities are all wrong. Right? Is he's double busy at the moment, isn't he? He lads, how's it going? Hope you're oh, having a nice yeah. evening. Uh, my question is that West Ham related. It's more this FIFA fair play stuff. Uh, what do you think about the points deduction? Because my thoughts are that the FIFA fair play has only been put in place to help the so-called traditional big teams. Yeah, and yes. I'm sure if this could be a can of worms that the Premier League would open up because I think every club has basically done some some under the table stuff in their history at some point. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Hey, <laughs> a bit early, a bit early, Arnie. Yes. Come on, Arnie. <laughs> Merry um, Christmas. But yeah, I mean, I mean, we, we have we have covered that earlier in the show, Arnie. But I do think I do think you've got a point. I mean, that is why it was put in place, and it really. I know what John said's true. 
uh, from a from a, a lower league perspective, it's been there to kind of preserve the uh, the health of the um, of the smaller. T- I don't see what it does in the Premier League apart from maintain the status quo. I think that's all it does. Yeah, they, well, that's what it was supposed to do, and it just goes to show how greedy these clubs are, though, because they still have to overspend what they're allowed to spend. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. I know. Very true, hey, John. Go I've got a good question. Got a good question Cheers, here Arnie. from. I've got a question here from at Snopes Worth It or something like that. Um, hypothetical question for the panel. Work, where's me fireworks? I'm trying to do a. See how you're up. Fucking. Sorry, mate. Go on. That's it. Go on. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. Go on. <laughs> Sorry, John. Go on. You're right now, Jim. We're all here. Okay. Yeah, go on. <laughs> um, okay, look, Uncle Albert, fuck off, Mikey. <laughs> fuck off. Just fuck Gary, off. Uncle Dubai. Albert Virgil Rodney, fuck off, Mikey. <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's he, even he better. He is. He is. He is. Thanks, Albert. Yeah. Mikey. I'm like, no, boy. Who's Steve? Right. Can I ask my fucking question? Sorry, what's one, Nick? Yeah? What's Nick? Boise. 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 Yeah. Nah, I'd, I'd have him down as Slater. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's Nigel, yeah. isn't he? That is yeah, Nigel, yeah. Nigel Slater, yeah. Yeah, Nigel. Not, not, yeah Nigel, like, <laughs> Nigel, Nigel hates kids like boys. <laughs> right, right, go on. Hy- hypothetical question from at Sno- Ain't's Not Worth It. Moyes, keep, Moyes keeps us up, wins one of the cups, thereby giving us a fourth season in Europe, but it means he gets a contract extension or... Moyes keeps us up, wins no trophies. We fail to get European football, and his contract is not Ooh. extended. His contract's oh. not extended. Which would you prefer, Ooh, Nicholas? Good question. What, so, so to good win a trophy, question. but keep Moyes for three years. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'll take the hit this year. I will. If I could choose now, I'd say no trophy. Fuck. Was it I'll three year? Was it a three year, year extension or was it a one year extension? He didn't say. He just said an extension. No, he didn't specify. No, it would be if they're exce- they're not going to give him a one year extension, Gary. If they're going to yeah, give him a new contract, it will be it'll, yeah, be, it'll yeah. be it'll be a new contract. So for me, yeah. I'd be willing to take a hit this year. Obviously, if we get to a final and you ask me that question, it might be a bit different. But asking now, I'd, <laughs> Gary is get it, Gary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, no. I'll, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I'll take the hit this year. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, 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 no, I want to move on. I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to be uh, doing that? Don't be joking, Waters. <laughs> Why do people think I'm sick? I'm a doctor of roads. I don't know what you're even talking about. A doctor of roads. <laughs> that uses a sat-nev. Right. Never used yeah. a sat-nev in my life. I, I would you're personally right. win a trophy. Oh. Fuck oh, that! We're just arrived oh, back here next year. Things. We'll be oh, we'll be having we'll be having the we'll be having the same conversation next year. Why would why would you? I mean, we, we're talk, so so. Let me ask you another question. Thinking next year is 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 Jabby Alonso, and we're moving on oh, to, we to a different that project. Question yet? No, no. But that's what I'm saying, to you. But if you think well, of it like well, that, so can yeah, we answer know, that one? Well, what, well I know you've you answered would. You'd, it. You'd, you'd, you'd take a trophy in three more years of Moyes. You would. You've answered it. We ain't Go answered on. it. Go on. What would you do? That's why he's getting angry. I've got to say. Um, I, I'll lose Moyes because my um, my enthusiasm for going to watch I've had a season two for fucking God knows how long right lost count uh, this is the first time ever that I don't look forward to going to football so I'm sorry but we've got the cup in our back pocket that's lovely um, you ain't wasting I, I yeah I'd, I'd, not me. I'd, um, I'd take getting rid of Moyes but as would the, your my change, Joe, Would your answer change if it was just a year's extension? I'll tell you what, right? I'll tell you what. I'd, uh, there is a bit of a nuance here for me, right? If it was an FA Cup, I'd give him a one-year extension. Right. An FA, an FA, yeah, not Europe. If it, if it was an FA, yeah. an FA Cup, yeah, that would be a bit different. Go what on, about mate. you, PSC? What about you, PSC? Oh, me? Um, get out my club. Fuck him no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 but honest, honestly, actually, thinking about it again, you say if it's an FA Cup, no, because think about the future. We're, we're looking towards a bright future. This ball and chain is fucking killing us in terms of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he is a ball and chain. I'm sorry. He is. He's like a wasp at no, a ball. No, no, he won't no, fuck off. No, no Nick's right. Me. Nick, Nick's right. Uh, look, look. look uh, no, he's got, manager, he's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. Manager, yeah. We'll be looking at someone who's... He's got to go. I can't take another season of shit, honestly. So, I'd have faith 
that we'd be challenging for cups under a new manager yeah. anyway. So, and it won't be too long till we're back in Europe. That's what I believe. I genuinely yeah. believe that. So, you've got to think yeah. about the kids as well, right? You've got to think about the kids. This is a pivotal time in their development to give them a bit of hope. And so when I said that, I start, immediately started thinking about the youth, and I thought, what signal does that send out? Is, right. that all, is that all West Ham are about to you, though, Nigel? Trophies. To go back to it's that, n- honestly. It's I wish never it was really here. been about trophies. Is, 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 for, for, is football, West Ham for you, is it all about trophies, honestly? No, he didn't say that. He says football. I think it was when it started, right? It was when it started, wasn't it, West Ham? I, I mean, when I started, anyway, it was, um, you know, because we... Well, it ain't we, been for me. Fuck not me. No, no not I know, me. I know, I know. But, um, well, no, it wasn't when I started, actually. That came a couple of years later. But um, I see I see what he means. It's lovely winning trophies. A fucking... Adored winning that trophy last year. We all did, but um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but, yeah, but the, think the, of the future, aren't you? Yeah, but the thing is, now we've won a trophy last year. Look, he should have gone I, after look, that. He should have gone should've, after that. He um, should have gone after that. But I, I, I agree with with also what what Irish Tommy says. His analogy of the fact that we've been starved for forty three years, and when you're starved, even a cracker tastes amazing. And yeah. I don't, I, 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 I it's, I, I think it's true, it. though. No, it's fantastic. It. It's, 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 fantastic, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic fucking... And it, it, it oh, really don't is. say anything Irish Tommy says is fantastic. <laughs> <for> <laughs> oh, it was. It was. I proper like that. It's true. It's true. Uh, I, I mean, let, let's let's have it straight. If Aston Villa don't win that competition this year, they have failed. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're failed. They're, you're, they're, you're, they're the favourites. They're, no, they're, no, the they're, they're, the, they're the favourites. We was the favourite. When are you? When are we ever a favourite in a cup competition in the EFL, in the FA Cup, or anything else? This this cup competition has been designed for elite level teams that finish mid table or seventh place or eighth place in some some instances to go and batter the shit of Europe. Yeah, that's why it's been designed. Hmm. So if you go into that competition, I know you've got to win the games, but it's being put there as an accessible cup to give mid-table teams a chance of winning something. That that it, is what it said. It was it was a two-round competition for us. We won, you know, we the lost. semi-final. We got a, we got a buy the semi-final the was final. no, no. The semi-final was a tough game, um, yeah. and, and then the final was a very tough game. That it was a two-round tournament. I mean, there's no way we w- we weren't getting to the semi-final, right? At least, yeah. Yeah, I mean, think, think of the overseas fans as well. Like you just said, fortunes are down. These they they get up sometimes that they set their alarm. Three in the yeah. morning, four in the morning. Well, they drive to. I've, they drive I've to. Got a, no, but I've, I've got no but no sympathy. Ain't my yeah, fault. But what I mean is, John, you well, know how hard it is for you to Australia, did they? <laughs> but you know how hard it is watching the games. Would you be willing to just carry on watching this football over listen, and over and over listen, again? Driving down the A12 seven miles is fucking tough, right? Don't John, tell me about I'm asking you. Australia. I'm asking. I know you're struggling with this football. Would you honestly like another year of it? No, no. I'm not going to lie. No, but no. you know. I, I I I see more glimmer of like this season. I've seen I've I've enjoyed some of the games this year. Some of them have been atrocious, of course they have, right? But like the it's, Burnley game, it's because I Arsenal gave you my Arsenal tickets, isn't it? What's that? It's because I gave you my Arsenal tickets. That's why you've enjoyed some games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was great. But what I mean is, look, you want to be entertained week in week out. It ain't gonna happen. You're gonna have off days. But when you're not taking the game to teams, when you've got a squad that I think should be capable of taking the game to most teams, and even if not giving it a go, it does piss you off. So, yes, OK, you Australians living in a beautiful country with all the sun, he's, having barbecues. He's, 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 he's a massive cockney. spiders and snakes a, and stuff a, as well. He's a cockney. He's a cockney. I know, he, I know he's a cockney, Nick. So he's moved to Australia. <laughs> oh, poor me. I have to get up at one o'clock. He's living wonder, in a great country. Stop moaning. Wonder what he did the first time he saw one of those dinner plate sized spiders run across his room at thirty mile an hour. <laughs> I'd been I'd been booking a flight out of Australia. Wait, you, cracky, mate. Get me out of it. Denigrating, crikey, mate. Crikey, mate. No, we're not we're denigrating we're it. It was fantastic, Nigel. We, we all said that. We all said that. It was fantastic. <laughs> and winning a trophy after all those years was such a rush. It was brilliant, right? But. Let's not dress it up as we won the European Cup, right? I mean, we we it was a really inferior or, or, competition. Or even, or even there the was FA two Cup. tough games. It was or two even tough the games. FA Cup. If you win the FA Cup, you've got you've got, that's an achievement. You've got to beat the top teams to get to the final. It's a it's a big yeah. thing. It means a lot. That come on. I mean, no, but it that, doesn't that, matter. It doesn't matter because look, look at when Portsmouth won the FA Cup. I think they got they won it without playing a Premier League side, right? So it can happen, right? It can yeah. happen. It's still an FA Cup, right? Yeah. So I'm not. No, I'm no way. I'm denigrating the European win. No fucking way whatsoever. But 
you know, people quote <coughs> stats at us. They quote stats at us. Look at all the teams with 17 unbeaten. Well, look at the detail of those stats. What makes up those stats? It's fucking away against some dodgy L- side L- in L- Finland. L- 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 Larnica L- Airport. Larnica L- L- Airport we play. Yeah. yeah. I know. Mm. But anyway, look, I think we should uh, look at wrapping this up now anyway, because uh, it is two hours and I've got an early start tomorrow. 182 We're, days. Yeah, 182 That's days. Close. But look, every I can't believe yeah. how many fucking people have tuned in to watch us tonight. We've literally nothing to talk about. You've helped us put a show together as well. Yeah. Thanks for all your questions and everything. But go on, Gal, John. John. Ryan, in charge of a fortune. Get an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, thanks all for your comments and thanks for joining us. Uh, I, I, there can't be many more of these fucking international breaks before the end of the season, can there? There can't be. Is this the last no, there's one? None, there's, there's none there till March. Um, I just looked at our fixtures in December and January. It is terrifying because those players, they don't finish in the AFCON if they reach the late rounds no. till like the 11th of February. Who, who, who's yeah. going AFCON? It'd be Kudos, uh, Agüe, Benny, uh, Benny uh, Cornet. Cornet, we don't see him anyway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't I think, think there's it. anyone else. I think it's Agwe, Agwe, Kadoosh, Ben Rama and Corne. But that's three first-team players, well, one semi-first-team player. Well, and the backups. Uh, it's, 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 it, yeah. Corne would be a backup as well. Well, Benny, so. Benny plays most games, either from yeah. the bench or starting, doesn't he? So, yeah. It, it's, um, yeah, it's, it, it's not... Yeah, it's not good. I tell you, it's not good. Uh, with injuries, we don't want to. We don't want to see a load of injuries because we're well, going to struggle badly enough. Just, just picture for a moment January, right? Jan- the the Jan- If we don't bring anyone in, it's away, welcome. But imagine if you ain't got Caduce, you ain't got Corner, you ain't got Ben Rama, you ain't got Antonio, and you ain't got Bowen. What the fuck? I think it could be ten at the back. Listen, <laughs> and Kudos. Vern, 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 well, it's, yeah. not the wor- it's not the worst case. I mean, Antonio's well, got a hamstring injury. It's, that's three months. Mm. So it's, it's, only Bo- it's only Bowen. It's only because Bowen. We won- because we won the Conference League, will West Ham be invited to the World Cup Club Championship? We did win the Conference League. I don't know. I is it? No. Do you get invited no. to that? I thought no. that was Champions League no. winners, wasn't it? It's, no, I don't yeah. think do. You don't. No. Yeah. no. Yeah, no make we, sure we, you get the like. Make sorry, sure Yardi. Like Good idea, though. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Yeah. Great show. Hit the fucking like button. Yeah, yeah, great, jo- great show. Hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to Claret Boo. Well, they spend ages typing "great show, lads." Night, night. It's taking you forever like to get to people. ten thousand, isn't it? We're near. We're not even at nine thousand yet. We've got to get to ten thousand. Look at Mickey's little face. Not far off. Listen, viewers, we're gonna do it by watching. the end of the year. We're gonna do it by people the end of the year. People watching, Mickey. Mickey's been smiling a lot tonight, and you might want to know why. Right. Basically, it's that time of year when the Christmas post starts. And as a postman, they love handling all the posts. So just make sure you put a bit of sellotape across the seal to double. <laughs> make sure. And uh, maybe transfer your birthday money. Don't send checks or post. In the- <laughs> Fucking says the man who puts, as soon as someone steps in his cab, it's £10 on the meter already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, Mick, he puts a dirty sock over his card machine as well. No, no. Yeah, he does. Cash, he does. cash, yeah, cash only, real, mate. No? Cash only, mate. Like cash only. Listen. Would you, cash card all or my, special card? All, all, yeah. my, all, my, all my dirty socks are under my bed. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're over, just over two hours. Thanks for your time, everyone. Uh, it's been a good show, actually. It's uh, made a change not to have callers. I do like callers, but it's, um, yeah, they go on for three hours, those shows. They but, do. Yeah. So, yeah, no, thanks no, all. Well, um, well, look, we've, we've had nothing to talk. We haven't had a game to talk about tonight. No, we haven't. We're No donkeys, nothing. We've not been able to no. put the donkey on. So no, look, me. <laughs> there he is, there he is. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if there's some news in the week, well, I'm sure we'll 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 squeeze a couple of rambles out anyway. But um, but yeah, there's bound to be some updates on Burin's injury and Antonio's injury as well. Does your hair yes. look good in this? Yeah. Does my head look big in this haircut? <laughs> yes. Is that a new haircut? No, it's a new style. Sort of sweeping it a bit more. Isn't it? Oh. You use well, product. Like your, use product. I, like I like your sweep over and Nick's. It's like Nick, Mickey, Nick, Mickey's got a sweep over. I'm just trying to join in. You're trying to join in with a, with a sweep over gang. Yeah. You're the cool guys. You've got the cool, you know. Cool oh, look, anyway, I'm going. See you all anyway. later on. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, I'm always in.